beer that he's an absolute alcoholic, man. You said he's not. Not alcoholic. <laughs> it's a hobby. <laughs> My so, hobby's being drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see the world wobbly. So we are here. We're live again. It's episode season. I don't know what we're on. Hold on. I think we're 67. I don't, hold on. Let me check. We're getting me, closer to the second. sexual 69. I know. We so need 69, sh- we need... Is there right. like a sex expert that we could get on? Oh, that would be fun. Hey, if anybody knows a sex expert who would like to uh, come and talk about how to make orange juice. Um, yeah. Let us know, hit us up. Yeah, that'd be funny. Because with 69, we want it to be an episode based on filth. Yeah. Is that why I've got the tash? Yeah. Ready? Yes, that's a good filth tash. And with that being said, welcome to the podcast, Mr. Mitch. Hello. With a why. Why? Because he can. Say it again. So basically, my dad's dyslexic. Is this real? On the birth certificate. Is this real? This is the greatest story ever. Oh, fuck. That would be... But there was a power cut on my birthday, so quite special. There was a power cut on your birthday, so you're special. When I was, bur- when I was born. Yeah, so you were born in the dark. Yeah. Some say moulded by it. <laughs> I did actually die, though, because I had the um, thing right around my neck. Oh, right. And Just got way more serious. <laughs> I, got really I did actually die. <laughs> <laughs> died really quick. But here we are anyway, so. Yeah, um, fought adversity, so. survived death. Yeah. Uh, guest of the week. So if you don't know Mitch with a Y. Oh, you won't know Mitch with a Y, because we haven't released our first video yet. What's that? Yep, on, gr- on uh, Pornhub. We'll yeah. soon be live. Yeah, that's why the stash is there. That's the stash. No, it's uh, for, we're bringing back the Worst Pain series. Yeah. And uh, Mitch is the torture, torturer, the mm-hmm. new one, the UK bound one. Mm-hmm. So a weekly video, and we, I mean pain weekly. Even weekly, better. yeah. Every Sunday. Yeah. So we've got, I've got one, it'll be out, where we're releasing this, is it tomorrow, it's Sunday now we're recording this, but oh, a late yeah. one this week. It's because it was my birthday and it's thrown everything yeah, up. and you're on holiday. Lou decided to be born. I know. And have to celebrate it for some reason. I know. I didn't, well. I, didn't, I didn't want to celebrate as well. I didn't want to celebrate. We also just point out that we went to the girliest bar in the history of men. Oh, it was shit! I birthday. left after you went. I, was, I, I thought I, it was really fun. Oh, it pissed me off. There were too many girls dancing, and I was just like, "I'm fucking going." Yeah, it was an just absolute me. boob fest. Yeah, no, I, I, I had to get out of there. I literally stayed for like another <laughs> where, where 15, was it? fifteen minutes in Sourbridge. Yeah, I got dragged to go. I didn't even want to go out anyway. You know, when there's those places that don't have a club, so all the bars stay open to like one. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, like yeah. that, but there was a load of people in cowboy hats and uh, lots of Usher type music playing. Yeah. And so, lots, of, lots of hips, hips jarring everywhere. Yeah. What's your scene then? I don't have a Not scene. Not that. Not that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I ain't one for going out. It was anymore. fun up until they brought what? out yeah. the, the disco ball. Yeah. The thing is, I literally, I know this might sound weird, but I, the only reason I ever used to go out was to try and pull. And I've been in a relationship for such a long time. I just so see the uh, there is no, there is no, the there is no <laughs> point in leaving. Like, what, why am I going out? I don't, I don't understand what the purpose I otherwise remember, is. I remember sitting there looking at it all, just thinking, like, oh, what a minefield. Mm. It's Sod a nightmare that. now. Because when you're younger at uni, because I went to, went to Chester, um, went back there the other day, and, like, you know, you like, have, like, a, a reflect moment of just, like, how you were back then compared to now. Yeah. yeah. But like, I went... At 18. Hang on, where, Chester, where were we? Chester, Chester Uni. Yeah, so Chester City. It's quite well to do, isn't it, Chester? It's really nice, but I was too young to embrace, like, everything. So I went back yesterday and just took it all in. You know, like, with the cathedral and everything like that. Yeah. Amazing. But when I was at uni, I didn't even notice this stuff. Complete different. You were just looking at where... I'm going to be very where, careful what I say. Where, where can I get recorded. kebabs? Where can, where, can I, where can I get shit-faced yeah, and where can I get food? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, sh- I'll show you Hannah all the crap places I used to go to. Yeah. Hannah's going, why do you always pick pa- uh, crap restaurants? I'm like, this is because I'm at uni, you're skinned. Yeah, it was the cheapest restaurant. <laughs> no, it wasn't even <laughs> restaurants. It was just chicken and chips. Yeah. A bit of mayo, I'm happy to go. Chip. Cheesy chips, that was the uni one. Oh, mm. Cheesy chips. Everyone yeah. lived for those. And they were like three pounds as well. So they, they fit the uni, uh, yeah, man. uni budget. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I had a Domino's on the on the night as well. After I suck, I'm standing by it. Domino's. I sucked. had that cheeseburger pizza. That it was it was horrendously salty, and I literally nearly woke up Stop dead from dehydration. Stop buying Domino's. Like, Domino's. Stop it. <laughs> you don't like Nando's either. But I don't mind Nando's. It's just it's not great, and you pay restaurant prices. You might as well go to a restaurant. Yeah, Nando's. but it's, it's still I, I, I like it. I, I, I nice. think Nando's is nice, but it's fucking overpriced well, like, and overrated. It's, like it's like just a chicken. for a chicken pizza. Well, have you had the pudding? The chocolate cake. The chocolate cake. Is it, not had that? is it a no. lot of chalk? It's a lot of chalk, man. You get a little bit of cream in it as well. Mm, you're not selling me on desserts to go to Nando's. I bet your dessert's about six fifty as well. It's probably more than that. Five fifty. See, I tell you, Nando's. No, you know, nowhere is cheap now. It's mm. ridiculous. It's not about being cheap. It's the fact that you pay overpaying for the product. Yeah, it's everywhere now. Though, and also, Nando's is so easy to replicate at home. Yeah, it's yeah, like, as well. You don't. Have you looked at the macros on Nando's? 
Well, I did. They the are... chips apparently were, um, was it 800 calories? Uh, the chicken is not good for you. Mm. Like it's, it's, it's like, it's, it's like eight grams of fat per hundred. Chicken as a standard is around about 1.8. Mm. I don't know what the fuck they do to it. Yeah. It's probably just it's, like. It's, ba- it's, it's sat in like a basting thing. Yeah, like the, of just like oil or fat or something. Yeah, it stops it going off and flavors it. That's quite know. nice. Too, one of oh, our yeah. one of our members, she's a the manager or manageress of um, the Nando's near me, and she said she's now a vegan because of working <laughs> at Nando's. So that, that's I've that. heard that from multiple people. That they say if you see sign, in the back, if you see in the back, you will not want to eat Nando's. Yeah, so I don't know. It tastes it does taste okay, but it is fucking so overrated. bad it turns someone vegan. I know. That's a lot. Got to be hard. What are your thoughts on vegan? I don't know. I mean, they're easy to argue against because they've got no energy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't, Yankers are always listen, tired. This like, if you want to build an athletic frame that requires explosive power, you can't do it on a vegan diet. I don't believe unless mm. you're genetically gifted you done it, towards having solid lean muscle mass. Have you tried it? I think you can, but you've got to. I be so did on try it. it, and it was about. It lasted about, I think, two hours till my mum said we're having sausage and mash for tea, and that was it. Yeah, I think I think <laughs> you can do it, but you've got to ten. be so on the ball yeah. because you have to you supplement know. massively. Yes, if you yeah, supplement you... massively and get everything in, you can do it. But, but I just think it's such lifestyle such as well. So it's like I, I did for two weeks because I got food poisoning. And then I was like, put off meat. Mm. You need to get that mic closer to the tash. <laughs> you lean up. We shouldn't have given you the leany chair. Uh, You're he's, clearly he's a leaner. Like he's a leaner. Yeah. 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 Right. One, two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, Batty. <laughs> Batty. No, sorry. That was there a, uh, it's the whiskey. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, so v- I tried it for two, two weeks. You don't need to be that close. <laughs> a bit that too, right. bit closer. Yes, I like a bit further away. Bit, and but... bit to the left. left so, yes, yeah, so I tried it for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> But the only thing is, it's lifestyle as well, because yeah. there's a lot of cooking. So like if you, if you have it yeah. meal prepped and you want to go to Asda, yes, they have more variety now, but it's like not the standard from what you're at home as well, from what you're cooking. Mm. You can make some brilliant vegan food. It's definitely getting easier. Like There's more available oh, to God, people. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Like, I just think we should hunt for our meat. Yeah, that like that would be. Like, I would do that. Like, for me, it's more of an ethical thing than yeah. I don't. There is definitely nothing nutritionally beneficial for being vegan. If anything, it's just oh, made it's your life considerably harder. Yeah. But unless you you've got real athlete. issues with gut problems and stuff, then yeah. I reckon veganism can help. Unless you go massively heavy with the like the cruciferous vegetables, and then you're just gonna have some issues. Yeah, but, I, I was gonna say there's always gonna be an exception to the rule. There's gonna be somebody some who's people. gonna have the, being vegan is perfect for them yeah. because of some. You know, I, I think it as well is how um, meat's made these days. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, chickens and all it's this not, stuff. It should be made the chemicals. commodity again. The one, it's not. The one thing... It's a product now, isn't it? It yeah. is, definitely. The one it's thing I really good. like about vegans now compared to, like, vegans... Even, like, five years ago, it used to be what that thing that was, like, rammed down your throat. Yeah, Whereas, right. like, a lot of vegans now are just... So many people are vegan and you don't even know and they wouldn't yeah. say. It's they fine. used to be, like... Yeah, yeah, they used to yeah, be like, yeah, yeah. Jehovah's Witness of, of nutrition, mm-hmm. just like f- <laughs> knocking at your door. Knocking at your door. <laughs> do you eat, do you eat broccoli? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? It was like now, loads of people are vegan. You might have somebody who's got like plant based in their in their Instagram bio, but I can live yeah. with that. That's Listen, not, if you've yeah. got vegan or plant based in your bio, you're a dick. The yeah. thing is, it's just no, nightmare. Nightmare. you don't need that. Then. But it's Listen, not, it's yeah. not yeah. preachy yeah. like that, it used to be. It, That's having the main vegan thing. or plant based in your bio is like having. Uh, Something like, like I only like white people in yeah. your bio. Like, but it's there well, shouldn't it's be un- there shouldn't stupid. be like a meat eater or vegan. It should yeah. just be you are you are a ch- a way of a, like, I just don't eat as much meat. Yeah, you don't have to listen to vegan. Meat based in, in our bio. Yeah, meat based. exactly. But nobody does because it's stupid. Mm. You don't need to know it. Well, we're not really meat based. If you've got it in your if you've got it in your bio, it's food because based. You've got an agenda with it, and you shouldn't have an agenda other than the fact that you think it's the right thing to do, or mm. well, you can't eat meat because it makes you poo. Well, meat should make everybody poo, really. When you go yeah. vegan, apparently, you do poo a lot. Apparently, if you go carnivore, you poo a lot. So if you go either way, you poop a lot. Yeah. Either way, you're on the toilet. There's no, there's no solving it. I'm just going to stand outside with my broccoli and, I don't know, meat sandwich. Mm. Like, I'm not so much on the toilet. Yeah. I think it's just balance. I was going to say, that's it, literally. Yeah, 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 what, yeah, yeah. Like, why, why, why are we, we talking go- about veganism? How did that come about? Jesus Christ, who started that one? You did. You fucking didn't. You did. I didn't. I know you, you asked, asked, you, I asked, somebody asked you me what I thought of vegans. Yeah. Oh, I, asked you. I made a joke about them being too tired to argue. And that's how it started. I can't remember. Let's Does, get off it. It doesn't really matter. Let's get off it quick. 
So Lex, you enjoy were enjoy your holiday. broccoli. We don't care. You were on a holiday last week. Oh, okay. we're oh, briefly so let's do catch up. Yeah. Let's do catch up before we go on to the topic of today, which will be God knows what, but this week. But yeah, I've been in. Where was I? I was in Tabua, Portugal, at a retreat, a fitness retreat. It looked fucking brilliant. Do everyone I thought so I was on a mo- everyone thought I was on a motorbike holiday? Yeah, because <laughs> this that's all. Yeah. Yeah. The dude who owned the place called Pete it turned out to be a, just the most intelligent madman I've ever met in my life. Yeah, like he's genuinely crazy. Yeah, and he just had dirt, two dirt bikes, two. ZX 10Rs and mm-hmm. was just like I don't know what your purpose of being here is but to me it's to ride motorbikes and I was like you sir would be correct yeah. <laughs> but nobody stopped me yeah. nobody's like you're here to make content stop going out on motorbikes they're yeah. like did you have fun on the bikes so, so like, who, who like, so it's with Stark Fitness right? so Stark Fitness which is a Bristol based company mm. they uh, they're really specialised in their training the gym is is, uh, it is an open gym but it's way, it's a more specialised gym so they've got tons of PTs in there that really in, that have in-depth knowledge they're tailored towards specific sportsmen as well as everyday people trying to fix issues or just get fit mm-hmm. uh, they work a lot with really busy businessmen and stuff like that mm-hmm. to get them into a routine and get them doing something that they can fit in short time schedules but it's going to like get them towards their goals they're yeah. really specific in what they do so they've got a good, a really nice outfit there, but they're also quite big on this like uh, mental health kind of fitness balance that's going on. So they do a lot of yoga things on these retreats. So there's a lot of yeah, yeah. mindfulness, yoga, um, but and not not like hard yoga, like, you know, warrior pose where a Nana destroys you next to you. And she's chilling. You're like, <laughs> there's these other ones where you're like lying on blocks and you're almost just relaxing and letting the mind go. It's a lot like meditative yoga. It's brilliant though. It's that, cool. that, that's, that, that's what it is though. Fit, everything's one. Yeah. Like, we try and separate everything, like fitness, like mind, body, spirit, all this stuff. It's all one. Oh, it all goes together. Yeah. yeah. So they're, what they're trying to do is together. all uh, together as yeah, one. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. yeah it was There's brilliant. no need to like be like, oh, listen, I just lift weights. Like, it's you're, you're being in as one in everything you do. That's why the yoga is brilliant as well, because you become present and complete with what you do. Yeah. This is it, but it's, it's definitely like who takes you through it as well is a big, big one. Mm. Yeah. Because if you've got somebody who's, you need that person who's like, now we're going to feel the weight through our feet and release your heart to the heavens and push through the hips. That's and you're like, oh, get this. Sounds like, sounds like you can give him birth. Get this, yeah. <laughs> and um, but there's a lot of that. But then also like in the mornings, it was like boot camps. So you're going in, you're doing endurance circuits. You're doing some like strongman stuff with farmer walks mm, all through the mornings. Cool, and then, yeah. So you, t- you start with like a, a yoga or meditation, then do the hard class. Then you go for a hike. And then later in the evening, you do again more of like this slow based movement yoga stuff That's or like so a cool. meditation yeah, it was really where, cool where but is it? so you you fly to portugal and it's a two hour drive into tabua so you're literally going into the like the mountainous regions and yeah, it's just yeah. fuck all there like so you're cool, just man. driving and it just some of these little village pops up i think it's called like medias or something m-e-d-i-o-s but the the actual place you can search it is called quinta do rabasal so it's a Quinto, Q-U-I-N-T-O, and then it's Do, D-O, and it's R-A-B-C-A-L. That's the actual resort that we were on, well, the retreat. And these, this, this couple have basically, they bought a plot of land there that had a ruin on it, and they've just built, rebuilt everything. That's, and they, it's wow. in the side of the mountain. So they have like a pet goat, three dogs, a full herd of goats, which are working goats, because the, the goat that's with the dogs thinks it's a dog. It's called Lucky. It's brilliant. And I trained it to be like my attack goat. I didn't see that video you with the goat. <laughs> yeah. I just wind up around people and send it. Goat. Yeah. You know, she kept coming in the house. Yeah. But she'll eat like anything that looks like a vine. So she was trying to eat my cables. She tried to eat in the sole of my shoe. <laughs> Apparently, do you know this? If goats stop eating, mm-hmm. they die. That's why you seem constantly chewing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Their stomachs close mm-hmm. off. Yeah. So if you stop to go eating for like a day or two, dead. That's what they're consuming, not they're just consuming. They're constant. They have to be constantly consuming. I guess they can sleep. Definition of grazers. Yeah, yeah. full on. Yeah. But they will eat anything. They'll slap on the fields. What about I saw her eating cotton, leather. Like she didn't care. She's like nom nom nom. If it fit in, it went in. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, madness. But they've got little human teeth. It like, looks like little kid teeth. Yeah. Funny. Really What's funny. their chewing like? Is it loud though? No, you can't hear it. Sneaks up and just num, num, num. I've got a bad thing for chewing. No, you can't hear him chew. Oh, it drives me insane. What if you hear people eat? Like, yeah. Yeah, when, the, when the spoon hits off the bowl as well. What? You see Hannah eat, man. Well, I bet you're fun in a restaurant, just twitching oh, and cringing. Oh, and oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah. Mad. Fight back. Nah, he's got this issue. Hannah's a bit tired, yeah, so yeah, whatever bad. she says. I'm not Listen, oh, oh, this is going go. bad. You, you better get that whiskey look, going yeah, down. You can sit like, here. That's right. You we're gonna, we're gonna, down. Lex, you <laughs> can be down. the judge. I'm not. No. 
We're back. We're going. We're not. We're not starting family feuds. On no, it's good vibes. Good vibes. Bad vibes, dude. Bad vibes. So you had a good time then. It looked fucking. No, class. but so this whole place is built into this mountainside. Right in front of it is a huge river where you can go canoeing or paddle boarding in it. There's otters. There's kingfishers there, like just doing their thing. Um, and they have these three Portuguese water dogs with them as well. So these dogs are water dogs. Mm. They're in and out the river with you. If you want a canoe, wow. they're swimming alongside you. Yeah. Wow. Stuff. yeah, it's really cool. Swimming pool there, which is not heated, which is a thing in Portugal, so it's like a plunge pool. Yeah. We went and did cold water therapy. We got up oh, at six in. in the morning and went down and walked into the river. Yeah. Went in. Now, I didn't know this rule. First time I've done this properly. Pants on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Close on, yeah, please. No, no wanking in the water. <laughs> like, oh, no. How else do you guys wake up? Yeah. No, it was... Uh, so basically... Whatever the temperature of the water is, that's how many minutes you do in it. So if you're oh. in like five degree water, you get the fuck out after five minutes. So we were, the water's about 10 degrees. Mm-hmm. We stayed in for like 15 minutes. Yeah. Because once you're acclimatized to a 10 degree water, yeah. maybe a bit colder, it was, uh, it was quite nice. Yeah. Once, yeah. You, once you got your breathing going, because it did knock the air out of you when you got in, everyone was like, <gasps> yeah. everyone's going, count to five, in yeah. for five, out of five, we're doing that. And then once we settled in, well, we started mucking around. Mm. Like, so it was me and Wilkes, who was the guy who was kind of m- helping me with doing, getting content and stuff, and was also getting content for the uh, SF. Starks, that's it, Starks mm-hmm. Fitness. Um, so we started jump- he started like jumping off the pontoon, I started swimming out into the middle, then I did a Timothy advert, like flicking my hair in the water to get it for like reels and stuff. So we ended up staying in for quite a long time. So when we got out, we were like, oh, it's a little bit cold. <laughs> I started laboring in the way I could talk. Mm-hmm. And I was trying to do a little vlog to the camera. And I was trying to press the buttons. You know when you lose all oh, dexterity? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh, shit, Wilkes, we're a bit colder than we thought. He was like, yeah, dude, I'm shaking. And we're like, oh, we'll, we'll walk. And then someone's like, there's a jacuzzi by the pool up at the top. Like, where, where we, so we so ran up to, we up. all ran up to the jacuzzi. <laughs> we're all sat in this jacuzzi, which is bubbling Just away. Shaking. And we're all there like going, this, <laughs> this is better. Did, and then, uh, like, when, when you got into the jacuzzi, did it feel like it was boiling hot? Well, it felt really warm. But then I think we figured that maybe it wasn't actually that warm. It was yeah. still just heating up, but it felt really warm yeah. in comparison does it burn but we were all no it was just warm so we felt warm in it but then all our cores were still cold like we were all in there like everybody feel warm yeah everybody's still shaking yeah <laughs> and we kept shaking for an hour I was in the shower afterwards putting water on myself and I thought because there was a mirror right in front of me where there, there's a cabinet for keeping all your crap in it mm-hmm. but I was right in front of the shower so I could see like my upper torso yeah. and I was like I'm just going to let my body I'm going to relax holding this water on me I'm just going to let my body like shudder or do what it's going to do mate I was stood there going like this like and all all my chest muscles were doing that weird alien yeah, thing like, oh, wow. that other yeah, people do yeah. by choice. Yeah, Mine was just yeah. doing it from that. And I was chuckling to myself in the shower, like think, like. How long did it take for your genitalia to descend again after? Because <laughs> that's the real sign of how cold. Yeah. Do you know what? That wasn't a problem. Once you were warm outside, that was yeah. right. It was like you were internally cold, uh. and it's because we'd stayed in too long. So what it is is it's the slight onset of hypothermia. Yeah, uh, I was right. thinking. See, that's what we do. We started. We started. We'd started the inroad to hypothermia. Oh, nice. Yeah. Just in the jacuzzi, chilling. Just Even chilling. Like, yeah. Like, about to die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what happens. So, yeah, be careful. Whatever the temperature of the water is, that's how many minutes you stay That's in. interesting, though, because people, people don't know that about the temperature. No, the I minutes. don't believe Because that saves someone's life as well, from what you just said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm assuming as well, it's you could probably stay in longer once you get more capable because your breathing gets easier and you're probably, probably you get like less shot. fat as well. Body will get used to it as well. I'll be so. fine in there. I'm like a seal. Well, there were, like but some, of these, some of these people on, on the on the retreat. There was this one guy, man, uh, Paul. He was fifty eight years old. I have never seen a human being do more in my life. Yeah, the dude was up. He had a wetsuit with him. He was mm-hmm. out in the river by like five thirty six a.m. every morning, swimming the length of the river. He'd then get out, do the yoga, do the full class, then go back in and swim again. He just wouldn't wow. stop. Mm. I was just like. The, I was like, is this your last week on earth? Like, is it, yeah. have, you, have you chosen yeah. after I'm getting this? my money's worth terminal. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 dead. I'm dead on Sunday. I'm getting, getting <laughs> as much Dude, out of it as possible. I don't think I have a picture of him at 58 years old. He, he just looked like a fucking athlete. Mm. There wasn't a droopy bit on him. Like his face was still like, not old, old, but he, he looked like he was in his 50s. Mm. Like mm. And he, he, didn't, he was also a guy that wasn't like overly concerned about the way he looked in terms of he wasn't vain. He just, just he was more concerned about his health. Yeah. Um, he said he got divorced later in life and was like, fuck, my life's starting now. Yeah. I'm not, I want it to la- like, it was like in his fit. I think he was like in his fit early 50s and he decided, fuck, like, time's ticking. I need to make the time tick as long as fucking possible. Yeah, so yeah, he just yeah, got yeah. hell into fitness. Yeah. And honestly, mate, I was just, I looked a bit gay probably. When he, <laughs> when he so I saw him at the pool for the first time. On. And I was just, you know, like Terminator 
scanning him. Because yeah. yeah. I thought because he looked Hot slim mail. in his clothes. <laughs> He looks slim, but when he took, when he was like just in in the shorts now, he just looked like a fucking decathlon athlete. Yeah, like I was just super impressed. Yeah, super impressed. So what did you get to know him? Yeah, yeah, really intelligent dude. He does. Uh, what, what did he do? Oh, uh, he's something to do with the naval forces, and it's basically he's one of those. You can tell he's like really. Anal's the wrong word, but you know that really. <laughs> but you know when people are very very, you know when people are a little bit, they have a little bit of that. What when they're in public, they, what's it called where people get nervous in public? Social anxiety. Yeah, and anxious. Yeah, but there's a term when they're a little bit... It's not Asperger's, is it? No. <laughs> no. What's Asperger's? That is my ADHD. No, that's the other side. Agitated. You're just saying words now. <laughs> but no. Shoes. No, autistic's wrong. What you, what, what's his manner like? You, I swear it is Asperger's when people don't like big crowds and stuff. Oh, and like, they go a bit like... Yeah, and you can tell. You know how Elon Musk talks. Okay. Oh, it's not man. normal, is it? it? Drives me insane. Yeah, yeah, but you this. know how he talks. It's mm. very, very methodical and very. You can see his brains yeah, worrying, yeah, 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 and he's yeah, also yeah, he's yeah. a little bit out of that societal kind of bouncy talk. Yeah, it's yeah. much more. That's how he was. He's saying words because he needs. to Yeah, say and words. if he was going to tell you a story, he would tell you like background you didn't need to know mm. because he I wanted see, you yeah. to know all the details. And he was writing the detail about so, it. So yeah. yeah, he was like that. So he's a really interesting guy, but he like obviously his job was something to do with. Um, it was something to do with something to do with the n- naval forces. It was basically getting things from one place to another, and if things fucked up, bad shit happened. You had to get it right first time. Mm. So he was very much like wanting to get things right first time every fucking time. So I took a boxing class when we were out there, put, yeah. put them all through a boxing class. He just he couldn't get to grips with it because he, he couldn't do it first time yeah. because he's so athletic. He got yeah. super frustrated really quickly. Yeah. And yeah, you could see like it was driving crazy because he just wanted to get it right. Oh, I see. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. He's like a perfectionist. So he was quite, yeah. Uptight's the wrong word again because uptight's a negative thing. He wasn't like that. He was just very, very fucking focused and stringent. Mm. So you could see why he like, just got so dedicated to everything. Because he's basically, it was, he would have moments where he'd be like, shit, I should be swimming and he'd just leave. It's sort of like a, a control <laughs> thing. Yeah. Like he, he, he likes to be in control of what he's doing. I think it's just his na- the nature of that kind of, I think, I think it's a little bit like that spectrum of a spur just where you have yeah. very, yeah, yeah it's a little don't bit. Feel comfortable. Like we're all on a spectrum of some kind. That was his, you know, he's mm-hmm. just very, but he was a really, yeah, interesting guy to watch, dude. He's uh, more energy than most freaking seven-year-olds it's crazy it's good. I've got clients like that I've got one who's seven really impressive he can deadlift over 100 kilos squats runs everything I've got a but yoga but teacher but it's the volume and just the dedication to it like just doesn't stop yeah. and if they're not doing it they're like you do get these like these freaks of nature yeah. occasionally like um, you saying that about your client we've, we've got a, a member John and he started lifting. So he he's done triathlons and stuff when he was younger, but he's never lifted. And he joined the gym last year when he was 66. And he's just, he's 67 now. Was and he, he had heart attacks? Yeah, and he's had a heart bypass. I like that guy. He's chasing a 180 deadlift. Wow. He squats like 120. The little well, think, old guy I was talking to at the party when you had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, his bench isn't that great. He's been, Well, he's trying to get like an 80 kilo bench. But yeah, uh, he's, uh, he's aiming for a, a 180 That's deadlift. That's brilliant. How old is he? 67. Yeah, so to be fair weird. though, this is the same dude that didn't realise he was having a heart attack when he was having a heart attack and just kind of wandered into A&E being like, there's something quite not right. And they were like, yeah. um, you're going to die. He's, he's fucking hard as now. Operation. He's yeah. hilarious though because he's like, he's so, he do, he just says exactly what he thinks and doesn't like care. He, so he could come across rude at first, but he doesn't mean it. He just says it as it is. Yeah. And it was really like when uh, we do like a member Monday post where we like highlight one of our members and all of our members are always like really happy to be member Monday to get asked for whatever reason. And we the first time we asked John, he was just like, no, I'm all right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, and he was like the, the first person he said no. And we were like, oh, okay, all right. And then like I was pestering him because I was like, I asked him multiple times and eventually I was just like, it's not for you, it's for other people. Because he thought we were just like... Bigging him up. Yeah, blowing smoke up his ass. <laughs> and we were like, no, it's like you're a good inspiration for a lot of other people, especially older people, to show them that they can actually get into training at a later age. And after that, he was like, yeah, all right, whatever. And then he, he went and he, he wrote out like a full like kind of a story of his journey so far. Yeah. And it's hilarious, like lo- lots of like tongue-in-cheek stuff. Yeah. And uh, then brought it in and then... We needed to get a photo of him for the post. He doesn't really understand how social media works. And we're like, we need a photo to, to post with it. And he was like, well, I'm not going to pose for anything. And I was like, okay, can we get get a photo of you lifting? And he was like, well, he brings a little like a little camping chair. So he sit, he just sits in the rack in between his sets like that <laughs> while, he, while he's resting uh, on his little fold-out camping chair. So we got some photos of him when he's in his, in his That's camping That's so old chair. school, though, isn't it? And, uh, <laughs> and, um, 
Yeah, so we got the photos of him. There. But uh, I wasn't there the day where we needed to get photos. It was another member of staff. And I told them to grab some photos of John. And he was like, Guy said to John, do you mind if I get some photos of you training? We've already had a chat about it. And he's like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Are you, are you like BCB's new camera person? And he's like, no, it's more just, you know, I'm here, you're here. So we're going to make the most of it. And then John was just like, hey, I don't really care. And then just walked <laughs> <laughs> you gotta respect that though. Yeah. I, love it. I love it, man. Now and then walked off. Yeah, yeah, badass, true. I was, badass. Just, exact words. Like, I don't really care. And then just walked off and started trying it. <laughs> but he is he's brilliant. It's inspiring though, man. When you see these, like, because they, they're seemingly normal folk, mm-hmm. and they just have these. But it's when um, it's all about this though. Yeah. They say they're old. That's it. Yeah. And I've got a yoga teacher. He's eighty years old. Eighty. He, he trains. He can run and everything. Mm. But he, he says he, he has his wife who says she's old. Mm. And the difference in their mentality, you just see it physically yeah. and he says i want to live forever and he, that's the mindset he's got yeah. and he will do anything i'm doing his yoga class next next week on wednesday yeah. and he's just brilliant you should see the stuff he does and uh he preaches a lot of this stuff as well and he says it's all about this he goes start feeding this positive stuff because when you start getting old when you start feeding this negative stuff mm. and you just see it. this is same brain if you're not watching on spotify or youtube it's uh yeah he's pointing, he's pointing to his head he's pointing at his head oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Brain. Yeah, Points no, it's ahead. true though, isn't it? Like your mindset's massive on on yeah so many different levels, and mm-hmm. I do you do see it with elderly people where they they kind of it happens with fucking one, blokes one foot in the grave. all the time yeah. when they retire because they've lived for work their entire yeah. life, yeah. and then they because you know I think it's more women definitely do a better job of this because they're not so attached to work a lot of the time they'll have had children and had time away sometimes they'll go back but they. Guys are too fucking narrow minded. They're like they have to do like one thing and one yeah. thing really well. Whereas women Women's are much more like well rounded. Yeah, they're much more of a, a, a root system based yeah. training thought as well. So they're probably much more going on just internally anyway mm-hmm. to keep them active. Yeah, whereas blokes are like. Well, it'll, it'll just be like hungry. one singular focus, won't it? A lot yeah. of the time with guys, yeah. and then for most men, they just end up that's their work, and they do that until that's they're the too thing. old to do it, and then they do nothing. Yeah. And, and, and society stop. says once you've retired, you're kind of on that. What do they call it? On the pile, the something pile. On the oh fuck it, not garbage pile. It's something nicer than that. But yeah, you set off to and the, the side. Shit heap. Set off to the side, like you know. Yeah, off mm-hmm. you go. Mm-hmm. And I, I do think that some people that then pick up a hobby, they'll do so much better than people. Yeah. Like my granddad did it. He literally just then started just like he, he was still active. But just watch his football, doesn't like to socialise. <laughs> or he watches fucking every sport going. Like literally just sits and watches TV, he does his exercise in the morning, that's it. He doesn't want to like he doesn't want to get involved, whereas my nan wanted to go dancing and do all these kind of like crazy, yeah, crazy yeah, shit yeah, going yeah. on. But yeah, I think that's massive. Trying to keep mentally active as you get older that, and that, just yeah, like that, not tell yourself that you're old. That's sort of why you have to find something you love. Mm. You, you do it no matter what without money so mm. when you retire you're probably still doing a different aspect though do you yeah. see that with people that are injured as well people that tell themselves oh I'm broken Yeah, they have so much of a harder time to recover because yeah. there's a psychological aspect mm-hmm. opposed to people that are just like oh I've got this little niggle but I'm going to work around it they yeah, can both yeah, have yeah, the yeah, exact yeah. same issue but, yeah, and yeah. They'll, one person will recover faster because they're telling yeah. themselves that and, it's and fine it depends on what you want it and I think you got to learn in life like uh, there's no secret it's hard work like if you've got an injured knee mm. you have to rehab it yeah. no one's going to fix that knee for you you like they can't do the exercises for you. Yeah. Um, that, that that's pretty you know much what's ruined that thought process. Amazon. I want it now. Click. Yeah. And yeah. That's, that's, that There's fil- you mean. Very yeah. very. Yeah. But that's yeah. what Amazon. Fil- that yeah. can, can I get a knee, please? <laughs> that's what filters through to our mentality. Everything now. Yeah, everything now. True. Everything now. So no. when you told no, you're gonna have to work for three months to do this. People are like, what the fuck? Yeah. Three it's months. Path least resistance. Next day delivery mm. on my patella, please. Yeah, please. It's it's good in ways, but it's the path least resistance, and that's unfortunately what we're pushing more towards. Is it make Instant it easier. Make it easier. Mm. Like that that whiskey glass. Make it easier for me, so I can put it here, mm. and we don't work for it then anymore. And I'm, that that's yeah. what changes. That, that we're trying to make a life it's make, make, makes us more lazy, but it's what's the word counter? It's counterproductive. Yeah, that's it. Did you know one thing I do to keep myself in training, especially little things? Sort of, well, two things when you're talking about the mindset. There's two types of people. There's people who get hurt and walk with a limp, mm. and there's people who get hurt and walk through the limp. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People who walk with the limp will stay hurt for longer. Yeah, because they they build the mechanism of having a limp. 
So yeah. now that's a problem. Yeah. So that's one mindset. But the other one is, you know, when you're going to put plates on something, mm -hmm. yeah. I will always walk to the furthest. So say me and you are putting plates on something. Yeah. I will pick up the plate, then walk to the furthest side of the bar to put that plate on. Yeah, yeah. Every time. Yeah. You'll notice it if you ever train me. I'll do it every time. And it's to stop me going to the nearest point. It's just little things I do like this. Fucking take the furthest one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always do. Do it. more. No, yeah, I work. Yeah. I mean, I never sit, and you'll see if I ever catch me sitting down between sets, you'll see me have a word with myself and stand up suddenly. Mm -hmm. Like, it looks like something's bit me. But it's because I'm like on your feet, like always on the feet. Have you ever done feet. a heavy set? On your feet, on your feet. Yes, I've done heavy sets. But then you said you stood back up. But it's fight mentality, yeah. So the thing is, is when, you, when, you have, when you're doing anything with rounds and stuff like that, you're never allowed to stay on your knees. Someone will literally come and they'll just, they're not, they'll kick you, but I'm not saying that they come kicking the ribs, but they'll literally just keep you get up. Get up, get up, yeah. get up. And it's a mental boundary breaker. Mm -hmm. It's to stop you becoming mentally weak when you're tired. Mm -hmm. So no matter how tired you are, on your feet, mm -hmm. on your feet, on your feet. It's just that get up mentality. Mm -hmm. Because if your inner monologue is weak, your outer um, ability will become weak. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's the mind that pushes you through stuff. Yeah. So the mind yeah, just gets yeah. you back up. So if your mind's weak, so all these people that you see fucking sat down in between sets on your fucking phones, you are weak. And you just, every time you catch yourself on your phone, you're getting weaker and your inner ability to get stronger is getting less and less. Well, it's interesting because we've, we've, you know, we have our attention span now is like three seconds. I think it's not, it's 0.8. Yeah, yeah so yes. see, how, see how bad it is though. So mm. we have to like, sometimes I'll, I don't even notice it, I'll whip my phone out. I've gone through Facebook and oh. I'm going, what the? You don't, I don't start getting doing it. Mm. Yeah, and it's actually quite scary you do that. Yeah, it's, um, a, it's a bad thing if you ever got noticed, mechanism. like, yeah. if you go to watch a film and you're not that interested, you automatically go pick your phone up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I now put my phone well away from me during anything. <laughs> yeah, I did the same try thing. And stay, even if I don't like something, not just... But here, here's a big one, yeah. Go to the toilet and have a poo without your phone. Oh, it's a hell. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, you remember the old days? When I'm you done to, in like You have minute. to read something. <laughs> the shampoo bottles. Read, read the shampoo <laughs> bottle, the toothpaste. Yeah. You'd be like, hmm, peppermint. Yeah. What ingredients are in that? Yeah. Like, read the list of ingredients if, in if I, if I go for a crap and I don't have my phone with me, I'm probably done within like two minutes. If I've got my yeah. phone. Yeah, oh yeah. And you, I'm you, like, you get the red marks in your legs. Yeah, 15 minutes Red marks and you try and get up and your legs are dead. You've got two red marks on your where you've been leaning on your thighs and your elbows. Yeah. And then, yeah, no, bad times, good times. Actually. Yeah, but that's, that's the thing we're talking about is the um, the social media detox. So, like, I tried it for three months. Yeah. Brilliant. Like, have you ever what, tried just it? not being on it so You delete it all for three months. Or you delete it. And then what you do, you notice when you wake up, yeah. you just you start checking things. And yeah. you, then you have so much more spare time. You just get up, though. You just get up. You know when you wake up in the morning, you're on your phone, good five, ten minutes, you just get up and then you see things start to change. You ever done it before? Like a, de a proper detail? I just make sure I don't go on my phone first thing in the morning. Yeah, I, I, what I do instead is put music on. Mm. So okay. you, if you put, if you do something else, you'll do, you'll, your tension will go towards that. So I get up, put music on because all the speakers are linked through the house. So it's just that I put it loud and blast in the morning and that's it, that gets me up and moving and then I'm mm. down, make my coffee, do all that. Don't really care about going on my phone at that point. Yeah. The only downside of me is it's part of my fucking job. Yeah. So yeah, like yeah. filming bits in the morning, I kind of have to class as not going on my phone. That's like picking up a camera mm -hmm. essentially mm -hmm. and filming something. So yeah. I'm not going on social media to check shit. I'm just uploading stuff it's, to it. It's the distraction of social media as a consumer, I think. Which yeah, is the, I don't the tend to bit, consume not it. As a content creator. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's a brilliant pl platform to do what we do now. But um, we have to for our job. It's what's annoying because I would not want to go on it. Yeah. Oh, I would be so happy to not be there at all. Yeah. But then obviously, like but, with me, I get appointments, boxing, it's cancellations, not just that, though. blah, blah, There's a very, blah. very positive side to social media. The amount of messages I get, because I'm putting out a lot of there about mindfulness and yeah, positive yeah, mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The amount of messages I start getting now that are, that are nothing to do with, how do I get a six pack? Mm. How long have you been growing your hair? Mm. Like everything is like, how do I grow a beard? Don't fucking shave. Like, yeah. anyway, yeah. It's, it's more of... <laughs> Just wanted to send a message to say this thing that you posted that morning, whatever, mm. really yeah, helped yeah, my day out. Yeah, I was feeling yeah, really yeah. shit, and this has really given me thank. Just, just wanted to say thanks. There's loads of little stuff like that now. Oh, I just want to briefly just intersect there as well. Thanks everyone for all the happy birthdays because I literally got yeah, more happy birthdays you. from the crew cast than in real life, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's yeah, kind of yeah, sad. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> that was, that's pretty, yeah. Hey, have you had your presents yet? I've, I've, I know the big present, the the one, the bike thing. Yeah. The, yeah, so um, I've got my full, where is it, direct access, all paid yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. So I've literally just got to book in to get Who's my gonna bike. Who's going to be a bike? Yeah. Who's going to wet so yeah. Then I'll, I'll have to obviously <laughs> buy a bike after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which will probably take me another year. But well, hopefully yeah. I'll get the BMW fixed so you can have a toot on that. If you yeah, want. that'd be cool. That'd be cool. So, yeah, that was... Uh, 
absolutely brilliant present. Y- All li- I could have asked for. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, you still got mine to get, but you're not allowed that until uh, we go on our gay picnic together next weekend. Yeah. We are yeah. having a gay We're picnic. We literally go on a gay picnic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In cold water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're actually quite happy to go on it, to be fair. We're going mm, yeah. to get fed and watered, it'd be right. Yeah, I know. I'm looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah, it'd be fun. We need to go, so go and see uh, Strange, Northman, and we still haven't seen Morbius. Yeah, I know. There's so much shit that we've not seen. It's This last month, well, all of April was a complete fucking write-off for me. Yeah. And then I had well, to have you... my bloody birthday. I you know. were on holiday. I was away. Well, working. holiday. Mm. Yeah. I, it was I, grafted got content. away. I know I've got that, content. Yeah, you were working so. Got hella hard. content to go. Yeah, I do have. I do have some goat fueled content <laughs> coming oh, your way. Man. So there'll be there will be uh, coming up on YouTube. Yeah, I'm going to have so Mitch and Mine's videos will probably go. I've had, done numerous things. So you're going to have Mitch and Mine's mm. video go first. It's going to be our the first relaunch of the worst pain videos. Then you're going to get my Brotox video where I just randomly went and got Botox because I thought it'd be hilarious, and you'll see the outcome of that. Um, and then. I've got the Portugal trip, which also includes a motorbike vlog, taking my the ZX10 out for the first time ever, getting on a litre bike, and I go smashing up these mountain roads. And, it's, uh, and I bought a goat skin <laughs> and I shoved that down my leathers and then went back home. Nice. What's this with the Botox? I just went and got Botox because um, I got offered, would you like to try it? I was like, and I asked, I said, yeah, freeze, like make it spock me. I wanted to be spocked. Yeah. Like I thought it'd be funny because yeah. it only lasts like three months because we're that active. Yeah. So I thought, yeah, it'd be hilarious. Yeah. So she's injected with Botox, but um, as you'll see in the video, I have magic powers. <laughs> and you'll find out what they are when you want to if I've got the edit up. Yeah. So, uh, but I've got something even more extreme that I'm going to do next, which involves at least 20 needles. Oh. And I'm literally only doing it for the thumbnail. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Talking of needles, yeah. no. I'm no longer natural. Dun, 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 dun. I'm a big geary bastard. Big geary Lou. <laughs> All the trend. Now I injected testosterone on Saturday. The beginning yesterday. of the dirt. Yeah. D R D therapy. On my on my thirtieth birthday. Boo! How long did it take you? Okay, it took me like two <laughs> minutes. I was there with the needle. And I, was like, uh, I wasn't shaking, but I was just genuinely like I don't mind needles, they don't bother me, but the idea of then, I was looking at it, and then I was like, I've got to stick that inside myself. Somebody else could have done it. It's just no weird. Bother, yeah. And I was just literally there with my ass out in the kitchen. Did you like it, like, flitch, flinching? I, I didn't, I was just When I did it, I, mean, I, I knew I was just going to go, like, in. But I was just, like, hovered away from it, and I was just like, Whew. right, okay, take a second. Right, okay, and do it. You didn't do it. Okay, right. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, but it, it was done, and I literally didn't even feel the the needle break the skin or nothing. I felt nothing at What's all. What's the reason behind it though? To become a fucking mutant. But you? No, uh, no I just wanted to try it. I've yeah. I've been training fourteen years since yeah. I was like sixteen, yeah. and I've always said at some point I'm going to give it a try. Okay. So this is me giving it a try. So when you whacked it in, yeah. Did you feel anything? Instantly massive. Yeah, instantly, no. yeah. Oh, I, Get someone in the headlock. No, so, yeah. <laughs> Just, you turn around and punch the nearest child. Bang out left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I literally <laughs> felt nothing at all. Um, it's, but this, this is very different because it's it's, it's like it's, microdosing almost compared to what body Yeah, I'm not do. taking some... He's staying within a natural testosterone range, just mm. utilising the exo- exogenous testosterone to manipulate the keeping the level in the upper range. Okay. Yeah, so basically I'll be like... Basically, right on the precipice of what you could yeah, be yeah, naturally, and levels. also your normal like diurnal rhythm, where you kind of get a pulse of testosterone which tapers off throughout the day. Obviously, I don't have that mm-hmm. if I'm injecting, so it'll be not complete flat. Line, there is but still it'll be a like, little taper, yeah. You, so, are you doing daily or every three or every seven? It'll be every other at the moment. Think every how long you've been? How long? One day. No, one day. <laughs> yeah, no, literally yesterday and, morning. And it literally, this guy, can you not tell? Can you not tell? Can you not One day of beer. One day of beer. Got invisible carpet. There we go. all right, boys. There we go. Started my career team. Have you started taking multiple supplements alongside as well? This is what you see most of these guys do. They start taking something and all of a sudden they're on 80 other supplements. No, I've, I've actually cut down most of my supplements over the last like month or so just because I... You know, like you, you're like, oh, I'll try this, and then you start accumulating all these other random health supplements, and then you're like, am I actually getting anything out of all this? So mm-hmm. then I've just cluttered it out to like decluttered it just to the basics. But um, I got a body scan on the day. Oh yeah, you sent me that. Yeah, I got on the yeah. on the morning of, um, and I'll probably so when I'm g- I'm gonna get my blood work done in probably five six weeks time. And I'll, it takes near two or three months to kick in, doesn't it? Well, so apparently you're meant to, to reach with an enanthate, you're meant to reach like a kind of a saturation level or kind of stable serum levels at 
three to five weeks. Yeah. Um, so when I'm at a brown, and then that, once you're saturated, then it'll start taking. Effect. Yeah, then so, so yeah, so, so yeah, you'll start to feel something, but it's going to be super. And also the amount that I'm taking, I'm not I'd taking like mood, sleep, yeah. and, and that'll be super the best physiological thing you feel. levels. It'd be so, interesting yeah. if you document that, like well, the journey of, of, of like recon. One day, yeah. one now, let's say like three weeks in, yeah, you can really talk to the people and say what's going That's on. That's what I was going to do. I was thinking about like at that kind of maybe five, six week mark, redo my bloods, redo a body scan. Mm. Obviously, I track all my lifts. I track everything anyway. Yeah. Um, so it'd be very interesting to see. But there was studies done on people that weren't lifting on several different doses of testosterone. And like the one that was the closest to my dosage is 125 milligrams per week. They were not allowed to train at all. No, They weren't even allowed to do any high intensity cardio. Um, and over 20 weeks they gained, it was just short of four kilograms of muscle. So, which is yeah. fairly substantial Decent. over lean 20, mass. Yeah. Over, well, so, okay. There's going to be intramuscular water that's going to be held. Yeah, but they were taking into account body fat though. Yeah. They so just measuring overall weight. Yeah, yeah no, that was there. That was lean mass. mass. Yeah. Um, I think they were done through DEXA scan, so fairly accurate yeah, as good. well, like as accurate as you're going to get. And and they did it on multiple doses. So they there were some people on 25 milligrams, they lost muscle. There was people on 70 milligrams, gained like barely anything. Like mm. then there was 125, they gained about three and a half ish kilos. Weekly, yes. Yeah, weekly yeah. dose. Um, then there was a 200. And, no, I think. 250 or 300 milligrams. See, that to me is super. Yeah, dose. that is. Yeah, that, yeah. Well, that's above being natural. Yeah. Um, they gained something like six kilos, and then there was a 500 milligram Woo! per week, and they Jeez. gained just shy of eight kilos. In what time frame? 20 weeks. Wow. But if you think about it, though, so like dose dependent, you had to nearly five times the dose to get double the amount of muscle. Yeah. 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 And I'll yeah. think about all the side effects and all the other shit that would have come with being on yeah. fucking 500 milligrams of okay, test. Have you been watching Sacked, Sacked Substance? I haven't watched him for a bit now. So you know he started testosterone replacement as well. I know he went stupidly high. He went stupidly low on his test, natural test, didn't he? Oh, so he his, started TRT. But then he went really high on his... No. Mm -hmm. If he's done his bloods, yeah. he's been on 150 milligrams a week or something and his testosterone got measured. It's like, what's our upper range? 28... 29 or is it it's 40 it's 29 the 29 yeah he was like middle even on the trt mm. oh really so they had him drop down he? well he got back he got um bad spots mm. on his back from the upper dose yeah um which i think he was taking 200 a week yeah i think he went to 200, 200 or 250 because his doctor basically said oh we've got this range and he was like oh fuck that yeah. shit i'll go right <laughs> to the top of the range <laughs> yeah. straight away and he uh yeah so he got that back knee going on yeah so he dropped it down and that removed that but then he got his test measured and it's like mid-range so he, his doctor was like well, he can actually put it back up oh, so right. he, <laughs> and he's already like looking like he's, really he's a, well yeah. he's only he's about short, so he's four, like what's his still age? genetically gifted yeah, yeah he looks really good he's in his 30s is he now I'd say he's like 30s, oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. he did so many drugs oh, okay. that, like, his test levels were like. Well, they, he thinks about. it was the kratom. Yeah. yeah so something. they dropped really low, and obviously, we've been taking the. Well, he well, went they, and got they it. He, he was just feeling really, really oh, shit. Okay. And he went and got it measured, and it just turned out he had really low tests. So that's why they put him on the TRT. Because wow, okay. he's friends with uh, Derek from uh, More Plates, More Dates. Yeah. So he's, he's told him to go get that shit done. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so he already looks amazing. And they've said they can put those. Uh, he's going to look like a mutant. Yeah. On, so, in, within a natural range, too. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Insane. Some people are like it, though, aren't they? But just going to show how many people must have, like, how. Because he's naturally gifted to get in that shape yeah. and he's, his testosterone was low and he still was in decent Oh, nick. yeah, that's true, yeah. And now, he's, now his testosterone has come up. Imagine like if his own hormonal system was able to yeah. just, well, he would look like that just. Yeah. I think that's it, it as like, well though because there's so much more than just testosterone. It's like how your body responds to it, your androgen receptor density and all, all these other things. Genetic potential. Because um, you know Lex Little, he used to be with Gymshark yeah. but he's sponsored by um, Gorilla Mine. Geary Supplements are us. Yeah. yeah. So Derek's like supplement company. So he's got all of his blood work. He's natural. Like he's 100% confident he's natural. He's got like freaky strong lift, genetic freak. He's like 21 years old. Yeah. And he's he's got like 500 nanograms per deciliter. So he's like, mine was like 640 or something like that. So he's got like, it's not low levels of testosterone, but it's, yeah, but it's like Nothing bang natural. average. Yeah, yeah. But you'd look at him and think, oh, he's got to have like yeah, crazy yeah. high levels. Huh. And it shows that it's just not always down to, that's just one of right. many factors that are going to play into like how jacked are you going to get, how strong are you going to get, how like how are you going to feel. You're floating around your body yeah, as well. There's, yeah, there's so much that other shit going on. Genetic thickness of muscle fibers, how many fast twitch fibers mm -hmm. we actually got, you yeah. know, that's, that's race dependent. Yeah. There's a massive yeah, thing. People seem, one, to, yeah. seem to forget that what race you are plays an actual quite a pivotal role. 
role. Mm, yeah. So uh, yeah. So I'm really interested to see how it's going to play out with me. Yeah. And I think like because before I was like, oh, shall I just try and bulk and get to 100 kilos just because I think it was fucking <laughs> hilarious. To, yeah, you were like, determined to get tubs. I, I was. Yeah, I know. I would be well, a fat sack. What's your body weight now? I'm 91 at the moment. Okay. So, it'd be interesting to see what happens though. You, well, the, well, I reckon your recomp has stayed similar way. Well, that's what I'm going to try and do. So I'm just going to, I'm going to have to, I'm just going to have to pay more attention to my macros because I imagine my kind of TD is going to adjust. So I'll probably maybe need to increase my calories ever so slightly to maintain yeah, my current sure. weight. But if I can over, you know, whatever the duration needs to be, recomp, stay around 90, 91 kilos, mm. but my body fat was like 19 point something. And I, yeah. when I, I spoke to you before, I said I thought I was between 19 and 20% because I'm quite yeah. high at the moment. If I could get down to like 15% body fat and still be at 90 kilos, I think that would be pretty, like I'd look quite decent at that. Not like mm. bodybuilder lean because I don't care about that, but I'd have all the cuts in the right places yeah. and still be able to shift a good amount of weight. So you, your reason behind taking it is just curiosity. Um, I want to obviously. I want to get more out of my training. I want to get. I want to get a bit bigger. I want to get stronger. Um, I want to have more energy for other things as well. Just everything yeah. else outside. Yeah. There's a legitimate scientific purpose behind taking a testosterone later, like between from your like 30s onwards. Health wise, it can actually be a real benefit, but you have to be stringent in keeping it within a natural range. Because the moment you go out of that natural range, it's like we have one shot of whiskey a day, good for us. Two shots of whiskey a day, not yeah. so good. Three, no good. What's so I think you're educated on it. It's mm -hmm. like you have a headache, you don't take a full box paracetamol. It's those things, you know, there's, yeah, there's ranges yeah. where things are good for us and ranges where things are bad. So there's there's the lower uh, risk of prostate cancer, lower risk of osteoporosis, um, heart disease is actually reduced, organ uh, deterioration is reduced. Yeah, so as long as you're keeping it in that range. Within natural mm -hmm. ranges. There's a whole thing, you know, just longevity of uh, ability to be able to stay functional, keep, you know, mm -hmm. moving, training, doing all that. The thing is, is, is the kids still are taking it like 18. They're yeah. uneducated. They yeah. sold it by Dave, the purple-headed bloke at the gym, <laughs> who's, you know, never looked better in the 20 years he's been piling shit into himself. Then, then you got to take considerations, like people going to a gym, like found you, for example, a lot of people on steroids, and mm. people think that's what, what the average is. person yeah. would look like. Well, yeah, you see yeah. someone, he's actually not a steroid, he looks small, but that's, that's what you should normal. look like. Yeah, yeah, that's a normal. But they get like a, uh, a bad perception of what they should look like, so then... What do they do? Mm. Jump on. Um, yeah, yeah and, they, and they jump on because the bloke who's selling it to them is like, yeah, it's fine, this yeah. stuff. Just do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's the lack of transparency as well, I think. That's oh, and the, he's, that's he's a tablet. Just say, that's no bother. Oh, yeah. 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 I'd much rather have done that than be there like, yeah. <laughs> Imagine walking on that there. Those, <laughs> those tablets are more toxic for yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. That, that's more, the worst thing. Especially all these... What they the Psalms and stuff like that, which Psalms are dangerous, people are thinking like, oh, they're so much safer. And then, I don't know, for me... Testosterone has been around for such a long time. It's literally been around for like eighty years now. Yeah. It's very well understood how it reacts in the like. It's obviously bioidentical, but there's so many long-term studies that have been done on people. We know kind of what happens with the body. Anything else? Yeah, you know, it's it's like it's all new territory. You don't know long-term effects of it yet. Yeah, that's what you mean. It's yeah, so they've had eighty years to obviously research this drug, and obviously someone's lifetime pretty much. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they can go from someone who's like literally one. And the Psalms, yeah. 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 originally, yeah. originally yeah. people were like Psalms don't shut you down, though, and they fucking do. Yeah, they do. Like it's, that was not true at all. Yeah, and most of the time it's worse because that because of it being selective, you'll still get shut down. Yeah. But then all of like the neurosteroids that you you kind of we'd get with other other uh, drugs or even estrogen. Like a lot of time your estrogen will crash because it's not an estrogenic compound. Mm -hmm. So then you've got fucking. Dog shit estrogen, which is tendons go snappy snap snap. Yeah, well, it, there's all the shit neuroprotective like yeah. aspects of it, the cardio protective aspects. Are like that, yeah. estrogen is extremely fucking important. Yeah, like, yeah. you need that. Mo balance. Far more important, realistically, from from a purely health point of view. If you had to pick, am I going to have normal ranges of estrogen or normal ranges of testosterone? As a guy, you'll still probably you should pick normal ranges of estrogen because you'll probably die a fuckload quicker if, you, <laughs> if, you, if you've got like no estrogen. Yeah, yeah. So testosterone, but, you'll just feel shit. You'll basically be castrated. Talking but, of feeling shit, yeah. I mean, that segues us into. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, I'm going off on a run. Yeah, yeah, you're on you. But Callum, <laughs> with Callum von Mogo, we've heard another disturbing oh, yeah, story about bad. Callum. Apparently, so we all know that that Callum struggled over the last probably two years, decidedly. About, I think he lost his. He lost. His, he had a bad move to Texas. That didn't go well. Mm. He ended up moving to Texas when the power cut out, huge snowstorms. He lost both his dog and his bearded dragon, which were his only little family members. Mm -hmm. You know, Rex was, everyone loves dogs. I mean, he loved that fucking dog. That thing was 
became available like he was a child to him. Mm-hmm. Dog died, and I don't think he ever really recovered from losing that dog. Now, don't get me wrong, the whole depression wasn't from losing the dog. The dog was the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah. He was already not in the best place. But one of the things we don't realize is we all know Cal's, you know, responds very well to the old, you know, pharmaceuticals. And we mm-hmm. know he takes them. He speaks openly about it. The downside of these things is when you come off them, like you said, your estrogen levels, testosterone oh, yeah. levels right. are through the fucking floor. Depression sets in. Yeah. So if you're already in a depressive state, not in a good place in life, and then all of a sudden you're coming off cycle because you get hurt. So he was off. Can't be on it anymore. And he, well, yeah, he was, he had to be because he ripped all the tendons yeah, and shit so in his leg. leg in now, way. what people don't know is that a steroids when you take them outside of a normal range so not TRT using it to become like bodybuilder-esque supernatural not supernatural it's the wrong word supernatural no supernatural's be, dead yeah, he can be supernatural as well have you well, seen the series superhero superhero levels actually weakens the tendons and ligaments yeah. in the body so the, this is why it happened to him like he's a sporty guy naturally athletic can do that he, he wants to jump and flip shit. off shit but he trains like a bodybuilder which is very static and one dimensional so then he goes to jump and twist and do all these things mm-hmm. which are adventurous and the tendons now weaker and boom snap like mm-hmm. ligaments and tendons he's just and injury after go. injury wasn't yeah, he? over and over and over which could would crush anybody who was a healthy mindset yeah, yeah. anyway so yeah, we, we a, followed yeah. him on this little downward spiral he apparently you know there was a road rage incident where he he's back in Australia now so he moved from he was in LA which is the worst place to be if you feel bad about yourself he then moved to Texas, power cut and snow, really odd for Texas, but that's what happened. So a bad time there, seemingly bad. Went back home to Australia. Apparently, and this is a complete and utter fucking rumor and might be fabricated. He was with the family, then got kicked out of the family home or left the family home. One of the two, he's not living at his family home anymore. Yeah. He's definitely still hanging around with his brother because he's posting up stuff with his brother being there, but he's definitely hanging around with people that also don't mind watching him smoke copious amounts, copious amounts of drugs. Yeah, because And are encouraging a, it almost. Got a, yeah. a meth problem. I and apparently, saying. yeah, so the road rage thing, chase someone with a machete, not the best plan. What's this? He? It's a road rage incident, he got out and chased someone down. He chased someone down after a road rage incident, got out and then threatened them with a machete. Imagine fucking Callum Von Mogan. Imagine that you fucking imagine thing that. coming out. You would you. so Jesus. regret that decision. So that happened, and then he was also caught on that same incident because of that. He, in the car was apparently they found meth. Hmm. Now, don't know if wow. that's been like a hundred percent proven or whatever, but we do know that he's fiddling around with some narcotics that are not of the most. They're not of the mind expanding type. They're more of the escapism. Yeah, yeah very and, hard um, drugs, very harsh. Apparently, two days ago, he expelled himself from a second story window and is in the ICU with quite serious injuries. Yeah, some something spinal, wasn't it? I just, I don't know. It's a big fucking eye opener about sad to see though, mental it? health and all this shit that you need to be paying attention to. Because also, who you're surrounded by? Because they, yeah. whoever he's surrounded by, do not, they're not looking after him. They're pushing him further and further off that fucking edge. But who, who you surround? That's who. That's the, what you are. It's a mirror of who you are. Yeah, and, and people we, you are around, and what you uh, you attract anything around. So let's say you're negative, you might and attracting negative things around you. Mm-hmm. So yeah. It probably goes to show how his headspace is. Misery loves company. Yeah, yeah. like if he's running around with a machete in his hand. Not the best, man. Yeah, not a good start, is it, today? Putting a machete in your car. You don't need one of those in Oz. No. I'm pretty sure. No. It's not one thing. It's not, it's not a place where you're getting jacked. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's really sad watching somebody self-destruct. And again, it also gives yeah. insight to like this kind of social media persona where uh, that sums it up perfectly. If you were just to scroll through his Instagram, you'd be like, oh, look at him. Yeah, he's yeah. like... Overcome it, this injury, amazingly yeah. back in shape. He looks incredible. He he's a, he's yeah, a rebound. All like, around, yeah. you know, looking at these like beautiful scenery and you you know, you know you literally get the highlights. This guy is going through an absolutely terrible time. Like mm-hmm. It doesn't really get much worse than no. his mental state at the moment. Yeah. But if you were just to flick through his Instagram, you'd think he's got the fucking best life in the world and you'd give up anything yeah. to like be as jacked as Callum and like live in Australia and see all this beautiful shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's a lot of people see it. Likeable yeah. guy, man. I met him in real life as well. Just very... He's actually quite like humble when he's, when he's, when he's him. Yeah. This like persona that people see... It's, you know, a bit of a cartoon version. Yeah. But we did see him kind of do things out of character. Yeah. A, a lot, of, you know. When you, last... What, when you met him? From when I've met him to, to seeing what he's like now. Yeah, okay. he's like a complete different person. And put, like, his social media, it's always a thing when people start using social media to do weird shit. Like, he's posting up loads of um, anime stuff and really weird, like, kind of cryptic posts. And mm-hmm. It's just a very odd. He went, he went yeah, really behavior, wayward. Isn't he? You have to be keeping an eye on him. And I just think he was he was smoking or taking a lot of stuff, and he just mm. wasn't, you know, a bit like um, Connor Murphy. Yeah, Connor Murphy. Same, it's one. Oh, of, it's the yeah, same thing. It's the same yeah. thing. Just you know, a different guy. So 
Yeah, if you've got a keep... bit of a moment, take a moment out of your day. Go on um, Callum's Insta or wherever it is you follow him. Just send him some fucking love. Mm-hmm. Send him some love. Let him know that. Just, just literally yeah. send a message saying, uh, take your time, heal up. That's not just him, though. It's your friends and family as well. Mm. You don't even, like like we said, you, you wouldn't know. So yeah. how you don't, you would, just people you might be close to. Uh, yeah, and that just one message you send somebody at the time that says, hey, man, just checking in that you're okay. Yeah. That might do something big for somebody else who, you know, yeah. hey, hey, I'm here if you need to call. Yeah, Anything even if like they that. seem happy on the outside, like, ask them. You know I mean? People actually, people who don't talk to themselves a lot, ask them people. Mm. Yeah. I think as well, people say, like, how are you doing? And it's just a, it's a passing comment, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When somebody actually says, no, like, no, how are you how doing? Are you? Yeah, are you, no, are you, are you all right? Really? Yeah. 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 And, we've um, done it. We've done it. At, um, so I, I work at Nuffield, and obviously we had the customer service where the, the reception would ask the member, how was their day? Or they give them like, a nice little compliment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they would, they come up and say, that woman's just changed my day. I said, I had a really bad day. And she said something, oh, you're always here. You're doing really well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Small things like that can just completely change someone's mindset. I was... Of, of their whole day as well. So I set people the task the other day to do this. When when you when you see somebody that you, all the time, when just when you leave the conversation, just say, always a pleasure to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Or always a pleasure to yeah. see you. Just end your conversation with that. And I guarantee you'll cheer up that yeah. person's day because it's those little positive comments that you send out. It's like ripples in a pond. Mm-hmm. Man. Well, just ask they them how they are. Through. People love talking to themselves. Um, or is it someone, you, as a PT, you guys probably know, people just love to talk about them. Yeah. yeah, and then the person who's actually listening, ask them a few questions. Yeah, give it back. See how's your day going? Because you, you forget when you're speaking. You just speak. Yeah, you answer you, your you, question. You, you, that's you. it. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, and you go, how, and then you go. Actually, how how are you? How are you today? Yeah. Small things like that go a big way. Yeah, and but, listen and actually listen. Yeah, don't be don't want your phone. Yeah, but I mean, like a lot of people, they're they're listening. You, they're listening just to like say their. their yeah, you see people out with each other, and they both look at their fucking phones. Yeah, showing each other shit on yeah. their phones. Talk. We well, mean had this conversation. I said, like, business success. Each individual person you see, properly engage with them. Don't just have an autopilot. You no, know, you go to a mm. restaurant. Hi, how are you? How's your day? Yeah. And then you, oh yeah, I'm having a good day. Blah blah. And they don't even care. They just completely mask. You, you, you yeah. Say, Proper engage with him. Give that person. If you've got an hour with that person, give it. Get, be present with him. Yeah. Because that is powerful. Then mm. each person you see every day. I did went out for food, and the waitress was really good at just like sorting out the a meal, like swapping things in and out. When she brought it, I went, "Thank you, really appreciate what you yeah, did there." Yeah. Like not just saying thank you for the food. How was the food? Great. I said food was great. Thank you again for making the effort there. Mm. Just little, you know, mm-hmm. just acknowledge people. Yeah, it does. It makes worth. a massive difference. Yeah. I think uh, those little little exchanges that cost you nothing can really literally make a massive free. difference yeah. for people. Literally free. Because some people just want to be listened to. That's it. Yeah, I think everyone, knowledge. everyone wants to be listened to to a certain yeah. extent, yeah. don't they? Yeah. But there's your job for today. So reach out to somebody you haven't spoken to for a while, and you should have, and you just haven't for no fucking reason, and start finishing your conversations with always a pleasure to speak to you, always a pleasure to see you. One of those two. Yeah. Send some little ripples out, good little vibes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good vibes, dude. Mm-hmm. Just checking the vibes. Um, but let's get on to something else. And that is the reason that we've got this man here. He is a sports masseuse with trigger point therapy specialization, aka here, prediction, <laughs> prediction, pain. Yeah, a really cool edit in the video for that. Before I come into your shop. Oh yeah, uh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so let's get down to the brass tacks of how shit people are looking after themselves and some of the main stuff that you've seen. And what you would advise people to do who have some standard issues like lower back pain, knee pain, and shit like that. Yeah. What's the most common stuff that you see and how can people help it? So it's knee pain and lower back pain. Okay. What, in shoulders? Yeah. In the lower back. No, they've got bad shoulders. Huh? You never see bad shoulders? Bad shoulders. The main one is lower back. Lower really? Back. That's the, the most common. Back lower back. back. One. Yeah. So people are I, did, yeah. I would have definitely. If no. we were on that game show where it's like, show me shoulders. What are we I'm doing like, now, though, Lex? What are we doing now? We're sitting. And what's the world do now? We work from home. Yeah. And we sit on poor chairs. Posh is awful. Yeah, then it, it goes into the shoulder. He's complaining about it. He's complaining about that. Yeah. Yeah. The no, chair is putting. Yeah. <laughs> I have to sit this close to the mic, apparently. Yeah. yeah. No, but it's like um, hip health is the biggest one. Okay. Hip health. Yeah. yeah. So your hips, if you keep your hips healthy. It's all in the hips. Yeah. Mm, big time. Mm, mm, okay. Mm. Same with the, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Good old stuff. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so um, hip pain, like. Oh, but lower back pain come from it big time and knee nice healthy hips will obviously help big time in your lower back so it's basic stuff like moving um proper movement as well so um like a lot of people train hard let's do training six times a week um for like five years 
it's... And we're not just talking about gym here. You can be doing anything. Yeah, anything. Just but... activities that are, are stressful for the body. Yeah, so like, th these things will catch up on you. Mm. Um, I, I always say it's like a car. When you first buy a car, you find it's a car for five years. The first year you can rag it round. Second year, rag it round. Third year, you start seeing issues. You can't just, just smash up your body all the time in your job, in um, let's say training as well, or any sports you do. You, you'll get to a point where you're going to have to start like servicing your body and looking after it. This is where the sports for every comes into. So obviously, we, we, this is why mobility is important, big time. Movement is key. Healthy movement is key. Um, and that, like, like I said with hips, if you have nice, healthy hips, you'll see your lower back pain could possibly disappear. Nice, strong hips as well. Knee pain can disappear. So the, the biggest the biggest cause is lower back pain, but it's mostly down to hips. So one of the big things that I think people need to be aware of is if you're feeling pain somewhere, probably seven or eight times out of ten, that's not actually where the issue is. No, it, it's... It's like a secondary um, area. So like, you go down to the root. So this way we did, no, we did that mobility test with you and we did your hips. Which you'll see in the video coming up. Yeah, so all this stuff just seen in the video. Dude, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. <laughs> Everything here is like, what might happen? Oh no, what's exactly happening right here? Mm, yeah. <laughs> There's no might. Yeah. Everything is shit is shit. So I was like, I'm, I'm cool. I stretched in like 2018. I'm good, good. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you, you, you're exposed how bad it is because you can we, hide it as much as you want. When we do a, a small test on his hips, you can see where his lower back pain comes from. You can physically see it. like literally see it in my body yeah. posture. And, yeah. But uh, Mitch also gives you homework in the videos to do. So once that's out, pay attention and do the homework because you can do these tests at home as well to test to see where your failings are and then mm. you start doing some of the work. Yeah. But yeah. how important is it for people to go and see a professional and actually like put some investment into their body? Massively, massively. Um, it's not even just about training and exercise. It's more about your lifestyle. So like, um, like I say, you have one body, you live in it. Yeah. So your mind and body, but your body, you're in it for however long. So people work their ass off till 60. How they look after their body? Probably mm -hmm. not. So when they retire, can you enjoy the things you want to do anymore? Because uh, you got knee pain, back pain, hip pain. You're overweight, all this stuff. So um, the sports very it keeps you healthy and mobile, your, and your joints, your bones, your ligaments, your tendons, everything. We keep you healthy so you can live longer and have a nice, fresh body when you retire as well. Yeah. So it's, it's a big one. Um, it's massively important. And obviously, um, I've had a lady come in. She never had a massage in her whole life. And she was 55. This was last week. And all she does, you know them, um, them, burger, them burger stands? Mm -hmm. She works on them. Oh, yeah. And all she's been doing is bent over. I massaged her once, yeah? And she got, she cried. I bet. Because she was like, I had a rush. All this tension has gone out of body. And it, it helps with your sleep, headaches, your mental state as well. Big, like a, you've yeah. got a lot of stress up here. You'll see your shoulders are tight. The amount of people that suffer from migraines, it ends up being a muscular issue. Yeah, mm -hmm. big, big, big time. Because if they're tightening up all the, all the muscles around the like, upper back and in that neck area, we're restricting blood flow, no? Yeah. So... And as well, are we going to be holding more toxins and stuff mm -hmm. like that within the muscle? Because mm -hmm. we're not flushing them out as much. Yeah. So we're getting all that shitty buildup that's in there. Mm -hmm. So when you're massaging people, you're literally releasing toxins and they're like flushing, yeah, so flushing the system. There's basically. a thing called your lymphatic system. Mm -hmm. It's like a filtration system for your, um, obviously your blood. You'll know about this. Um, and we, that's part of the massage as well. So we bring that out and flush it towards the, the, the lymph nodes. And that's why after a, a sports massage, you will sweat and need a wee and stuff like that, because you're flushing out your system. Yeah. And um, it's basically you're getting toxins out your body. We don't just do that, we do a lot more as well. We've not, um, injuries is a big one, so it help, helps with recovery as well. So you've got, if you've had an injury, not just in sport or but anything, we help with recovery and the after stage to help it um, mobilize the joint, mobilize the muscle, and restore it back to its function, what it should be doing, because you'll see an injury, and then you're and overcompensating around that injury. Whereas That's we, a big one. Yes. Just expand on that because not a lot of people understand this. When you get hurt, your body will adapt to cover the hurt, essentially. If yeah. you don't fix the issue, other muscles will come in and compensate for the muscle that's damaged that can't work. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Now, this can then lead to further problems due to that compensation, putting the body out of balance. Like mm -hmm. If you were to look at something symmetrically, you have compensation on one side, that symmetry is lost. All of a sudden, you get hitching and all this shit going yes. on. Yes. And that's where we have to find the root. Yes. And this is what we do, okay? This is where we do the mobility assessments, the postural analysis. We get how, the how common is this compensation going on just from daily activities? Massively. Because you, you, someone can walk in the room, you can see, you can just, that's where you can read what they do for, for a living. Yeah. Okay, just look at their posture. Look at how they stand. Tell people to do that thumb thing. Oh, yeah. So, um, boom. 
yeah, up, yeah. <laughs> but he does this thing. He, he like he bends you over, yeah. and he says, "Okay, lube you up," and he thumb up the bum. He's Is like, it, and yeah. then just halfway through, he go, "Just, just to offset, uh, do you like magic?" You're like, what? Is it like magic? Uh, yeah. Why? He goes, "Can you feel my thumb up the bum?" <laughs> yeah. Look, no hands. <laughs> <laughs> And then, then the <laughs> yes. No, there's no. Don't worry. If you go to his practice, there's no thumb up bum bum at all. Yeah, unless you ask no half yen unless all you say the one. magic. So do you, I do get people weird. message me. Unless you tip him enough. Do you get people message me though? It's weird. A weird message. You get some weird. What's your weirdest message? They want to like. Oh, duh, duh, are you allowed to go into this? Something? Yes, go. Yeah, go it's into the best it. bit. Yeah. You know about this, Hannah. Hannah is in the room, so I am saying this in front of her. So I had this guy. What was his name? Who are you telling that to then? The, the the girlfriend gods. Hey. And it is in this room. And I am <laughs> saying this. Do not strike because me Because I always say anything that's going to come back God. on me. Because she's like, you told me about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we won't see me again. No, what was it? His, his name, what was his name? Missing for three weeks. It was funny, Mitch was with it. a Y. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hannah B. Sanders podcast. <laughs> not me. No, it, it was Money Man for You or something like that. And he was messaging me saying, do you do sports massage? Did he want you to like spit on yourself and rub? Oh, so I get to professional. And I was like, <laughs> yes, I do. I knew where it was going with it, so I kept it professional. You just shut them down normally yeah. when they still they go there. And he was like, I'll pay you. I said, yeah, I know, but it's a service yeah, you have yeah. to pay for. Of course you're going to pay me. <laughs> Will you do it naked? I was like, no. And then obviously, I was, and then you just leave. And you then, naked or him naked? Both. Ah, but then you saucy. leave him alone and they send you videos. He goes, listen, I've got money. Sends pictures of money. And then he sends me. Because you can't get that from Google. Bear right? I'm at Northfield, yeah. I'm chilling on my phone. Um, and this, this sent a video comes through. I'm like, oh, this is no. gonna be a dick. No, <laughs> dick. Oh, this is, oh man. So I opened it and not even joking, there's two guys <laughs> yes. and he, him it's in the middle. Who's what? He's in the middle of two yeah, guys. Yeah, and I was just like, oh my. Is he on his knees? King. I don't want to go into detail. Yes, you do. <laughs> Details. So he's on his but knees. Yeah. Burnt into his memory. Basically, it's a Sunday roast, yeah. It wasn't what? on a Sunday. <laughs> it's a Sunday roast. But, um, he, hang on. No, you ignore right. him and they stalk you. There's two guys either side of him. Is he looking let's happy? Pl let's play it out. You be, play, you be the middle guy. You be the middle guy. I'll be the middle guy. <laughs> right, so he's in the middle. Yeah. And there's two guys either side. Yeah. Can you see both the guys or is it just a crotch level shot? You can see him. Is he stood up or is he kneeling down? What position is he in? Mine's on all fours. So he's on all fours. <laughs> is it a profile pic or a face on? This is a video, man. It's a video. Have you still got it? <laughs> no, Lex. <sighs> but what they do, they harass you though. Like, they, you block him. And... Stop diverging. So he's on his knees. He's got something. He right. Like. It now, was Lex who sent the video. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. There so, was a ring in there. Yeah. Is he just, oh, is he just getting spit roasted? Yeah. He's, yeah, he's yeah. sucking oh, a dick and getting bummed. funny. I thought something fun was going to happen. Like he was in the middle like, bathe me in your pee. Uh, <laughs> but, no, but they, yeah, they do stalk you though. Hannah, man. You want to? She was that thing. You're not thing everyone wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? You tested me? She had a few rums. <laughs> no, but yeah, they they, 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 they proper harass you like um, I can, I can, I can. You top, probably get it. You probably I can get top it. yours. I've had, I've had a dude send me a picture. I think we might have talked about this already. Yeah. But it was a post jack off picture. Yeah. Which I just love the process of the mind thought of this. Yeah. Bearing in mind, like, he knows full well I'm a heterosexual dude. Yeah. Same picture of him post jack off. He's still kind of hard and he's gripping that dick like it's, he's trying to kill a chicken. Suicide grip. Yeah. Suicide grip Suicide on the grip. dick. Yeah, like full on. <laughs> and he's like, no pants on, nothing. So I've got like, it's a shot. He's got the camera from the chest down. He's taking the picture. Mm. And he's like, there's, he's, he's done a good job. You yeah. know, he's satisfied himself. So that's still there. Yeah. And uh, no pants on, no nothing. Gripping the dick so hard that he's like getting white knuckle. Yeah. And then he's got a t-shirt on. Yeah. And the most interesting fact of that, after I shared it to the people in the room, because there's no way I'm being like just stuffed with that for yeah. the rest of life without anybody else suffering alongside. So I shared it to my mate Mark, who first of all just looked at me wide-eyed. I was like, why? 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 I was like, because I can't have this in my mind alone. If I share it, <laughs> it's like less of a burden to me. And then he went, what? Why has he just got a t-shirt on? <laughs> this dude had just taken all the effort to take his pants off, jack off, but apparently the t-shirt stayed on. Like, was was it a captionette? Could he? Could he, is he not? Because we all had the teenage sock, mm -hmm. like the sock that the mum was not allowed to go near. Yeah. Like, don't touch the teenage sock. Don't go down the back. You got kids. You got teenage kids. Don't don't touch the socks. It's new. <laughs> just just stay away from the socks. <laughs> okay. They, they stand up on their own. So I don't know whether he was like this t-shirt needs to go in the wash anyway. Nah, may as well mm -hmm. use it. Is a cum net. Like, wait. He stood up and now? then after doing that, just thought, do you know who'd like to see this? Yeah. Lex. I really what, appreciate this. What was I think going this would be the picture that turns him. 
I think I, he's on the verge. I don't. I don't. I'm sorry, but I don't think he was on like Pornhub, whatever it was. And then he went to Instagram. He was scrolling through just your, making this, your. You just made this worse. He was I scrolling. Even of that. He was scrolling hadn't through your pictures. <laughs> hadn't even thought of that. Finished. <laughs> oh, I feel used. Yeah, he'd finished, and then he was I just feel like used. Being as being as Lex has done me a favor, I'm going to do him a favor. I send, <laughs> send him, sending him the aftermath. Oh. This is why I should have an OnlyFans. At least I get paid for it. Don't be more awkward. If the T-shirt when you make something, I want the same T-shirt. <laughs> do you imagine that? Yeah. Yeah. Turns up at the pub. You will yeah. see that one day. You're like, oh, why do I want that T-shirt? T-shirt? Yeah. <laughs> it's still got me mistaken. Yeah, a bit of a stone in the bottom. So. Yeah, but that's not that. That's the thing oh, though. Shit. When you go into these industries, anything to do fitness and stuff like that, you will get yeah. these people. Like, it's just mad I, because I do like, have a good one though, and I give credit to this guy because he's my favourite one so far. <laughs> Right, it's a di- it's, 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 it's a gay guy, right? Obviously, um, it could be a straight guy. I'm assuming he was gay, but he sent me like a few proposal things, you know. But I'd ignored, 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 you and then he's just to you. no, no, like you know, like little well, insinuatively like... All right, okay. things like that. And then he just went full bore, and it was a panoramic shot of him. He was lying in the sea on a beach with um, he was naked. Mm. And he just, he was on his front doing like cheeky pose with just his bum out of the water. I was like, Fair, well played, sir. Well played. Fair play. That is, that is, that if is anything was going to get me, it was going to be that. Yeah, that, now, that this, yeah, now this, this, this gave me, I was like, thumbs up. Well done, sir. Yeah, that's, that's much. Fair play oh, to that man. Boy. Went into the sea, did all that. I was like, yeah, that's good. I like Maybe that. that's what you need to start doing. When you get a message from, you know, somebody who's wanting something devious, just ask for something really specific. Really yeah, so okay, it needs to be on top of a mountain. <laughs> you need you and need to be wearing a, a Pikachu outfit <laughs> with with the crotch cut out, <laughs> and there needs to be you reeled that out real yeah. quick. Yeah, it needs to... look at your <laughs> brain go. Pikachu outfit on a mountain, crotch cut out. That, that was fast. That's what I did yesterday. Too to fast. be fair, I was getting the photo. Twisty, ready. very twisty. Yeah. So yeah, just the, the most elaborate thing, and then just mm. if they if they can do it, give them a thumbs up. Yeah. So if you want to get away now, please, wave, anybody yeah. who's got Pikachu Photoshop or anything going on, smash Lewis's and you know just please cool. send him so many Pikachu, inappropriate Pikachu things. Crotchless Pikachu Crotchless on a mountain. Pikachus. Just go on Google and <laughs> he's hammer He's going to regret that now. <laughs> it's definitely going to happen. Oh shit, we fuck it. Is that, oh, this is, that's still going. That's you have going. to keep an eye on that because the phone has decided that the gay talk was too much. The good phone was like, fuck you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I am off. This All is right, should too we much. actually talk about some of this? What, no, no, no. What, we yeah. need to get back to the thumb thing. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah I was going to say, I was trying to, I was trying to like get back to that. Oh, that's it. Just, just relax your arms. Okay, no, hang on. So, just to take you back from all the gay talk, oh, yeah. prior to, <laughs> if relax. you've forgotten what we were talking about, after pre, pre-tangent. This is a really good tip that, that Mitch showed me in one of the videos, so you'll be able to recap this. But it's to see whether you've got any shoulder issues. And it's so fucking simple. And when you're told about it, you're going to be like, oh, how the fuck do we not know about this already? Like, it's so simple. Mm-hmm. Go, sir. Ready? Yeah. yeah. So basically, about, yeah. relax your arms, and then you can either grab two pencils he or stood up. Your thumbs. You're terrible at this, mate. Let me do your job. Tell what we're doing. <laughs> Stand up, people. <laughs> Shake yourself off and stand in a normal position. Now listen to Mitch with a Y. Okay, yeah, so now I'll, I'll try and envision it. Yeah, stood up. Yeah, so now you stood up, relax yeah. your arms. Okay, now just point your thumbs forward without actually turning your thumbs. Just let them naturally point forward. Okay? And indicate where they are. They should be in a straight line forward. Totally relax. Just stick your thumbs out and look where they're pointing. But if they're turned so like, in... like this. So just stand and then thumbs. Yeah. Like that. And you see like if they yeah, so they're facing each other. That's a really bad sign. So what they should be doing is facing like this, straight forward. Yeah, they should be nice and neutral. So they see loose. Oh, I have a shoulder issue at the moment. See, they're that's pretty, pretty good. They're pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's good posture. That's pretty good. So obviously, if they're facing each other, that's a really bad but sign. But if their thumbs are turning and pointing towards each other, you've got internal rotation, and most people have that, which means yeah. you've got tight chest. Yeah, so your your chest. shoulders will be super tight. So you got uh, the muscles that are attached to it. You have your chest. And your shoulders are not uh, massively tight. Yeah. Your back could be weak, and people who train a lot as well. Um, the most. What does everyone train? What's the biggest muscle? Yeah, international chest. Yeah. That so, was so, me when I first started. I was yeah, like, everyone does it. I was so fucking kyphotic when I first started training because I was just like, <laughs> I can't see my back. Why would I want to train that? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so a lot of people who, who um, train train chest look look at their posture big time because their forms are face each other, or if you're just massive. Yeah, so you got big lats. Yeah, that's not a problem. You're just gonna stitch. Just but they should still here. not be doing that, surely. Yeah, so I had this guy come in. I'm not gonna say his name, but he told me he's on roids. He said he grew muscle. Uh, what Can was I just want before you carry on the story? 
Is there an issue with people taking steroids and their bone density for you massaging them? No, it was their muscle, their muscle. Because you know, bone density goes down if they're on like they're on super juicy. Yeah. Gear. Is that a problem? It'd be something you'll have to take in consideration because obviously um the the pressure. Mm. Okay. But I doubt it. But it just so it's not and it's their age. Though. Age would be a big one though cool. as well. So imagine you're taking roids and yeah. I just old. remember years ago a guy who was a physio telling me about that how he couldn't wasn't allowed to massage people on on the juicy juice because of the bone density issues. I think some people are a little bit just too um, a bit too cautious. You get some issues too. Uh, uh, this sounds wrong. To go deep. Go deep. Yeah. I don't back, want it to back swallow back off to this. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. But like some people are too scared to get their hands in. <laughs> Listen, I'm doing nothing. All this, yeah. I'm just looking at you. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so like, um, there's this guy, yeah, what was he coming in? He came in like a few weeks ago and he, he, he opened up to me and said he took roids. Uh, and in two, was it a month, he put on two kilos. No, two mm. stones, sorry, two stones. Shh. But his muscle was just mashed up. When I was trying to massage. He, was so, he was massive. Mm. But it took ages to massage his muscle because it was just all so mashed up. Do you up. reckon that's because he started taking the gear and then just went apeshit with training all yes, of a sudden? Yes, I think it's because how rapid this muscle grew. Yeah. And obviously, um, it has something to do with it. I'm not 100% you know the science behind it. But just massaging him, he, he was just mashed up. And he was super, super tight. Just poking any muscle, and I think that's because of how, how fast the development of the muscle come on. Yeah, and uh, I think that's to do with the tightness of the fascia around it not being. Yes. Able to oh, yeah. So the fascia would have completely um, gone super tight um, around the muscle, big time. But after the massage, he felt a lot better. But I said I got to do a lot more work with you mm. because his posh, his thumbs were facing each other. He was itched like this. His mm. neck was out here. Um, so what can people do? I'm wondering as well because there's more androgen receptors on like upper chest and delts. So whether yeah. whether that's like. It's going to react over just Yeah, those that's muscles. where it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Will be. Yeah. Mm. Well, how many like, guys do you see with like jacked yeah. traps yeah. and kind of jacked front delts, and yeah. then they've got piss weak arms, back? They're fucking worst thing. Worst thing on a guy is a shit back. Mm. Yeah. Worst fucking thing. It's when you get no traps. If you've got jacked delts and traps and no back, it's like fucking out there. Yeah. Mm. It's when um, these lads that come, you, they just got no traps at all. They look wide, mm. and they got this little pencil neck, and it yeah. comes out like this. Yeah, it just looks. I don't That's know, weird. You thought they'd get this bit? Isn't that the androgen? Uh, are you not talking about? Oh no, 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 Big one's the foam roller, but for stretches, we'll get into the foam roller one, um, is you lie on your back, you raise your knees up in the air, feet on the floor still, so you bend your knees, and you just rock left and right. Yeah. That's and it just cracks it. your back, and it, it, it wakes up that lower back big time. So you're keeping your feet at a, as a pivot point in the middle, and just rock. Yeah, yeah, so I've done that every day for seven years, and the foam roller, it takes five seconds to do, crack, 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 boom, crack, crack, and go up and go. So the foam roller one that you showed me was really good, is you start with the foam roller on your upper back, you kind of need that like back and forth a little bit short motion yeah then you roll a little further deeper down onto the mid back yeah but then you stop there and then you let your whole body sink over the foam roller and let it push up into your back and you hold mm -hmm. that for like five or so then you come back up mm -hmm. roll it down to your lower back mm -hmm. roll that out for like 10 seconds then again sink and let all your body flop over pretty it. pretty much do five that before seconds, every and you just yeah. keep yeah. going up and down like that. but what, yeah. what people don't realize is actually it's look how we're sat completely opposite way mm. watch how a cat stretches he opens up his rib cage his yeah. neck and when you do it if you're male your voice will deepen like oh yeah this happens when we do it uh, yeah. you probably notice yeah. when, you, when you lie back oh this gets stretched as well I turn into Barry White oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I literally I do that before BJJ because when you start rolling with somebody especially like when I'm rolling with Gaskin and you've got like a 105 kilo guy just crush you it feels terrible getting your back cracked yeah. when you're not meant to be getting it yeah. cracked when you're, when you're trying to fight somebody Gaskin's like the most What's the best way to try and grasp it? He looks like a choir boy that can murder you. Yeah. He looks like Brendan Fraser and Arnold Schwarzenegger he had a baby. Does. <laughs> yes, yeah. that is spot on. If, if Brendan Fraser like and Arnold had a baby, yeah. it, it would it's be... He's like the uh, most delightful human with the, just the most like softly spoken bloke who can just like get you like a suitcase and go fomp. And he's like 22. Yes, he's going to be an absolute... You can see his hands. Yeah, he's just his a His hands unit. already are like just these machine-like <laughs> bear paws. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I have the joy of getting flattened by him on a regular yeah, basis. Yeah, I'll humble you fast, that will. Yeah, that will. You know when another bloke's on top of you in judo and there's points where you just sign there and you're like, if he wanted to rape me, there's nothing I can do about this right now. Judo or judo? That's a scary thought. Any, uh, like, huh? 
Judo or jujitsu? Yeah, any of them. Yeah. Just when you got these blokes that are just like manhandling, you're like, oh, yeah, oh, I could do nothing. Yeah. Joe Rogan said a thing about that when he was around the, you know, the golden era of MMA where they're just juiced up to the eyeballs and yeah. just murderers. Mm. Yeah. And he was sat in a room with these like, like, uh, like Coleman and and uh, all these, uh, oh, the dudes around like Tank Abbott, Coleman, all these fucking people. And he literally looked around the room and just thought, if one of these guys wanted to just bend me over and fuck me there's nothing, <laughs> I, there's nothing I can do about it right now it's a serious like so, fucking man. you realise Jesus is levels there's levels yeah there really is how long have you done um, Jiu Jitsu not very long um, so I went for a couple of months in between the lockdowns then had like a year of no BJJ and then I've probably been back maybe three months but I'm only going once a week so still super new if you could Before, get in twice so. a week you'd progress so yeah. fast Before yeah. that though did you have any fighting background I boxed for years when I was oh, young. Okay. Um, no, I want to know what the confidence shift is just from learning the martial arts. Uh, it's it's very humbling, but I think it depends where you, how you go in. Because so I I boxed for quite a few years, and when I was younger, I used to get into a lot of fights. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just like just randomly, <laughs> just happened. Um, <laughs> just and, got some yeah, headlock. <laughs> yeah, well, and I was just I was there's, talking to somebody. Tales. I was talking about this the other day, and it was like part of me. It's just like. I always used to be able to handle myself very well, but it's probably been 10 years since I've got into a street fight. Street fight. Yeah. Um, and part of you like doesn't want to know if you can handle yourself or not. <laughs> and also, especially with BJJ guys, because there's so many of them that just look like your dad. Humble. Or like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It could just be Innocuous, anybody. Just, just humans that will fold you yeah, up. Like yeah, some, yeah, some yeah, guy yeah, you might yeah. see like in the library or something like that. And they'll fucking kill you. It's they'll like literally these kids, like, that's what's scary though. You yeah. people fight in the street, you don't even know that guy. It's knows. like these teenagers in America who are who are in the, who are wrestlers, mm. like sixteen, and they're absolute weapons. And they're like working in some mall somewhere, yeah, just doing shelving. For You'll know because they're next. And then some the dude head, tries to some dude tries to rob the store, and out of nowhere, this fifteen year old just fucking annihilates yeah, yeah, yeah. them. So you see, he like just full dump, like holds them down, puts them, pins them to the yeah, floor, like suplex. Yeah, them. full grown yeah. men just getting ripped. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's always scary when you see a kid. Take on a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I did some stand up for like the first time. We did this like little thing where we were doing rounds, just taking each other down, and the winner stayed on, and then we just rotating. Oh, that, oh, like Shark Tank. Yeah, bit. and um, and I'd, I've not done any standing um at BJJ. I've not practiced it, so like they literally you done, showed me a started on things. any position on knees. Uh, yeah, we're just from standing. Literally, just take them down. As soon as they were down, and that was it. You'd swap. Oh, yeah, just take yeah, downs. Yeah. Get you, yeah. Get you, okay. um, and I found something that I'm good at. I'm really good at taking people down and not <laughs> yeah. getting taken down. But I think because I'm That's shorter, because of your stocky and I'm, glutes. And I'm, yeah, and I'm strong. He's got so. big legs. If you look at his feet, are kicking. Yeah, yeah. Don't <laughs> really can't so He's got, got the, short you, little legs. You know, legs. like in, in, in Deadpool with two legs. Yeah, yeah. That's like fucking tight measure. It's just got this. How got Jack little legs just kicking out underneath. So yeah, so I away. found something that I'm, yeah, literally like that. But uh, I think again, like just it being, is one hundred percent that you've got such a thick base, mm. taking you down be a nightmare because yeah, powerful mo- glutes. As most well. of the, the pull of getting someone down is getting in behind the knees, sucking them out from underneath people. Yeah, your fucking tree trunks trying to pull them out from underneath. You. Yeah, and just yeah. being able to sprawl on everyone as well. Like I, could, I was just like, yeah, and the fact that you weigh ninety odd kilos and you look like you probably should be eighty odd. Yeah, I know. I still don't understand it. I stand next to some people. The fucking and I'm like, stumpy glutes and yeah, that. Yeah, I think it is. Things. But like, and everyone's next to me. That like, there was a, a member who genuinely he looks exactly. Exactly the same kind of size as me. He was like seventy nine kilos. Yeah, yeah. Like, where is like? You're a thick boy. I don't know where the fuck it is. I must you know, thick it's, boy. It's ancient genes. Like, yeah, you got. Well, I did. Neanderthal. Neanderthal. No, so well, I did. I, I, yeah. that, no, so, well, I, did. I had um, a, a genetic test, yeah. and like I've got like. <laughs> you do have it. I yeah, I, I've like, got more Neanderthal DNA than yeah, like ninety four percent of the population, or something like that. So yeah, it's more fucking dense Neanderthal bones. <laughs> yeah, so. fucking good. Yeah, honestly, it's a good that's a hell of an ability. Yeah. Not getting yeah. taken down is a massive thing. Mm. So I found something I'm good at. So I'm actually going to try and start getting some of the uh, some of the classes where they do a bit of stand up stuff because mm. Mark Goddard does one and it's kind of stand up based and ground like a uh, and takedown based. So I'm going to try and mm. try and get to that. I'm going to try and get down, man. I'm tempted to buy an old banger just to rag around for like put miles on, you know, just mm. so I can just chuck the shit in the back, leave it in there, and then just troop. Yeah. You know, just use it as like a wagon. Yeah, that'd be cool. I am just like pick one up for like eight hundred quid or something, just like a jalopy. Yeah, isn't it meant to teach a lot about respect though as well? 
Um, so yeah, there is, like to, if I'm honest, I've not got into that side of it too much because what I'm doing at the moment, it's literally just an open map. So okay. I'm not even going to, I've not even been going to classes. I'm literally just turning up and fucking oh, fighting really? people. You're not, you're not, you're not <laughs> yeah. You're not doing I, drills. No, I, I'm what? just I'm just doing open map. So I'm literally just turning up and rolling with people. Oh, wow. um, and fortunately, because I know some of the people there, they'll take the time to explain stuff. Yeah. But because at the moment, because of my schedule, I've only been able to get down on the Saturdays. So what was the one I went to with you a couple of times? Was that, so that was a Thursday or something, was it? It was a Wednesday, Wednesday night. Wednesday, right. So that's yeah. when I was doing some classes. So I did that for like a couple months. Mm. So I had like a very small baseline. Did nothing for a year, so yeah. forgot everything, <laughs> and then yeah. like started again from scratch. Lou and I had the longest round of judo wrestling you've ever seen in your life because they turned the timer off, and we just kept going, and we got equally tired as we both went along. So we got we both got so wrecked that I almost tapped myself out trying to armbar him because yeah. he just sank his ninety kilos onto me, crushed <laughs> my glutes on you, and because he, he was so tired, he just sank his weight into me, crushed yeah. my I diaphragm, and I was trying to wriggle out from underneath him whilst pulling this arm, and I nearly tapped out because I couldn't breathe. Wow. <laughs> well, I had a longer roll. Also, me and Kieran, uh, one of the guys at BJJ, uh, I we rolled for over thirty minutes. Fuck off. Yeah, literally thirty. And Jeez. so, Kieran, by the end of that, it must have just been called a flop. So Kieran's probably Swap. I out, I outweigh <laughs> him by maybe like twelve kilos or so. Um, but he's he's a white belt, but much more advanced as a white yeah. belt. But like my strength and weight, like leveled the playing field a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. And he I can't get I can't get my head around that thirty minute roll. That's I, insane. It somehow felt. The longest ever, and also was over in an instant. It was, and we, because it was no gi as well, so there was a ah, lot of movement. No gi's way better. There was so much movement because yeah. you're not getting tied up yeah. by like getting your lapels held. I was going to say, should we exhausted? Oh, we were fucked. Yeah. And there was, there was several moments where we were both in a position and we were both just there like, leaning on each other because we were both so <laughs> shall we, Shall we stop? Shall we stop? Well, we were, <laughs> we were literally just there and there was just a mutual agreement and I was like, I was listening to his breath. He was listening to mine and I was like, I think he's breathing in harder than me. I think he's more tired. I'll be able to beat him. And we were just like, kept, kept going. You got your locks in, bro. Just, let's just end it Yeah, up. yeah. There, and there was like several close calls, but we were both so fucked that trying to finish anything was like impossible because neither of us had any strength. <laughs> and it was hot and it was no gi, oh, so we were man. sweaty as fuck. So we were just like <laughs> sliding out of everything. Was everyone watching? Yeah, there was one point where like, like quite a few like... people would like stop to watch because it was going on so long. <laughs> oh, they scrapped the watching point. Yeah, there was, it, it, there was a couple of like, It's like Peter Griffin versus the chicken. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah <it was> pretty, <laughs> much, that's pretty much what it was like, yeah. We've run out of time, boys and girls. That was a an hour and a half gone already. That's gone quick, though. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. You go. Yeah. So let's finish on um, something to do with, you know, the point of having you on. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know that thing that we're supposed to have done. Um, give people five tips that they can take away from this to get oh, them going gosh. and then also let them know where they can find you on social media. Go. So five things is everything's connected. So wiggle therapy, meditation is a big one. Okay. Nutrition and obviously We're going to have to get you back on for training. the meditation thing because you've got some cool stories. Yeah, we'll come back on that. I don't waste it by like rushing it through now because he, he told me some really good stories that I passed on to you and then took full credit for. So okay. uh, he can uh, take them back. Well, what's cool <laughs> is because you guys have, I've done meditation you guys have done the DMT. Yeah. 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 So like we, See, they, they can line up as well. I have to get you on. Anyway, yeah. so the five things I would 100% do mobility. 100%. When should they do it? It doesn't matter. Before when you, you do exercise it. and whenever you get a spare five minutes, whatever. It hasn't got to be like a massive 15 minutes. Is there anything that you'd advise people just have a quick Google of to give them like some basics to follow? Lower back mobility yeah. and hip mobility. Okay, and cool. shoulder. So shoulders, hip, and lower back. Yeah. yeah. Um, stay hydrated. That's a big one for your muscles, big time. And, when it, and whilst you're so pre-train and hydrate, mobility, stretch, train obviously as well. Um, the big one though is your form, okay? So that will help you with your tissues as well. So poor form will mean you'll end up seeing me a lot more, okay? <laughs> because you're just beating your body up. If you can get into a position where you're getting, let's say one sports massage um, a month, you're training hard, okay? Mm -hmm. You're looking after your mobility. So you don't have to see me frequently, but yeah. if you get an injury, you're gonna see me quite a lot. Mm -hmm. But ideally, it's just keep on top of it, some maintenance. So the five things would be stretching, mobility, um, correct warm-ups, big time, and cool downs is a big one as well, Yeah. okay? We've got five, one more. Meditation, yeah, we'll yeah, come back to that. Meditation, yeah. can be connected, that's a good one. Yeah. So uh, where can the people find you? So for now, Instagram, Facebook, um, I will get website soon. It's all, it's all in the works at the moment. What's it called on there? So it'd just be Mitchell Ram. That's it's M Y T C H. Yeah. Yeah. Mitchell Ram. I am. Mitchell. Straightforward. Mitchell okay. Ram. Mitchell Ram. Michael. Yeah. Michael. They're like, Michael. Michelle. I'm Michelle. Like, oh. I love when you get spotted. I'm like, <laughs> she goes, 
Adam, Katie, and she goes, I don't know who you fucking know. <laughs> Michelle? <I'm laughs> Michelle. Like, Michelle. And you just acknowledge it. Yeah, it's yeah, fucking I'm me. Here. It's fucking me. You know, uh, in Dodgeball, the massive black guy who was on the. Uh, Michelle. Yeah, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're Michelle. <laughs> so, yeah. Instagram. And, uh, and you'll also you'll be able to see him on the new re- uh, relaunch of the Worst Pain series where we are filming literally every Sunday so you guys will not be left behind. So if you have anything you want us to check uh, in with on that series, let us know in the comments. If you're on Spotify, thank you all so much for the reviews and uh, make sure that you do, if you haven't already, rate us on there because it really does help spread the love. Uh, iTunes, I think you can leave reviews, so mm-hmm. please do that because that's great. Even if you want to make them funny, just yeah, make yeah. us chuckle, do that. Some of you have said you've left voicemails on the system if you're on spotify and you scroll down there's a link for you to leave us actual voicemails so what we're going to do is try and hunt those down because for some reason we haven't been notified of them and we'll, uh, we're going to collect them and play them out and then we'll answer any voicemail questions that are going on there or just laugh at whatever it is that you've sent us and if you want to send us anything yeah. because we do a lot of you people asking and we love it when you do send us things we're drinking out of these lovely crew cast especially in grave glasses from yeah. uh, Mary the other w- um, week, which was alcohol delightful. Alcohol that people also, send us. You guys have sent us some rum and stuff like that. Yeah, you can send yeah. it to uh, Black Country Barbell, which is Talbot Street in um, Stourbridge. What's your postcode? DY81SN. But yeah. we'll put the uh, put the link in the description. We'll put the link in the description. Address up in the description. Or just, just Google Black Country Barbell. Yeah, and str- d- anything, for, right? anything and everything, even if it's just like a little letter or something you want us to read out, whatever it is, uh, send it care of the crew cast there and Lou himself or one of the uh, team there will pick it up. Yeah. So thanks, Mitch, for being on. We'll get you back on. Yeah. We'll do the whole chat about meditation yeah, yeah. and stuff. He's got some very cool stories. I might have to come down. For he's one of these a spiritual fellow. This one. Oh, you need to watch. I've got a gratitude board. You know, I said about it on the, on the podcast oh, that yeah. day when I came back, and I started the gratitude board because of Mitch. Oh yeah, and we'll talk about that. Big talk about that. It's great yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. All so. this stuff says what's. I don't preach what I haven't done. So all this is from my experience. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I preach it. Yeah. And I've been, I've done it for quite a while now, so I'm in detail with it. But you guys can connect well on it because you guys. You do it yourselves, yeah. yeah. Which is brilliant. Um, and maybe we'll get you on the old uh, other realm. Not yeah, yet. not yet. Yeah, <laughs> send you to space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. More time will come. Yeah, it's had a great time afterwards. Yeah, it was brilliant. This was quite recent. I mean, yeah, a few it's weeks only ago. Two weeks ago. We'll talk about it after. Yeah. you've yeah. all heard it already. Yeah. So, yeah. like, so you know, you know, so as taking, always, taking drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you beautiful people. Boy. Cigars, whiskey, DMT. It's the living way. Whatever was bad, leave it in the week behind. Bring forward all that was good, and have a great fucking week, guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Toodle Toodle pip. Pip. Boom.